Chapter 2601 Visiting the Grand Shia Explosions rang throughout resentful Death City, and one resentful spirit after another exploded. Those were the human race's experts that had been infected by the aura of this place. At this moment, a cauldron appeared in Sovereign Zi Yang's Violet Sun. After that, specks of light flew out of the exploded resentful spirits and entered the cauldron. Under my name is Zi Yang. I order the cycle of reincarnation to allow the souls of those from the martial heaven continent that fought alongside me to return home. Let them pass through the sea of bitterness. Sovereign Zi Yang began to chant a sutra. From those specks of light, Long Chen sensed sincere emotions. They were like lost souls returning home. In truth, only a portion of their souls still remained here, controlled by the laws, and now Sovereign Zi Yang had broken their physical bodies allowing their souls to escape the chains. They then returned to the heavenly deos. Although they were already dead, their souls still contained yearning for the martial heaven continent. They longed to go back. Even if they were already dead, they wished for their souls to be buried in the martial heaven continent. Upon seeing this scene, any regret that Long Chen had felt about using up this trump card faded. These souls were his seniors, and they had fought to the death to protect the martial heaven continent. Everyone from the martial heaven continent was in their debt. Without their bloody sacrifice, perhaps the martial heaven continent would already be destroyed. So, to bring peace to these heroes was worth it. Ha ha ha, foolish Zi Yang, you did this just for this group of trash. The elder of the death spirit race laughed contemptuously what are you laughing at? Long Chen furiously swung Evil Moon at the cane. Boom. Long Chen was blown back, and his hand was bleeding but killing intent blazed inside of him. He was just about to summon the six-star battle armor when Sovereign Zi Yang stopped him. Long Chen, don't be impetuous. He is locked within the bone cane. Unless you have one of the five supreme divine items, you can't touch him. But he also can't attack anyone either. Old bastard. Just wait. Long Chen ground his teeth furiously. He regretted showing his anger, but this elder truly infuriated him. Long Chen rarely admired anyone, but those that he admired were viewed as heroes in his heart. However, this elder was insulting those heroes, calling them trash. Looking at the flames of fury soaring out of Long Chen, Sovereign Zi Yang laughed. If it was anyone else, they would only feel fear against such a terrifying existence. But Long Chen felt anger and hatred for him. This was a true fearless expert. Little brat, you dare to say such a thing? When Yi Ming inherits the death spirit energy, he will reach the path to sovereignty on the martial heaven continent. As for you, you will become nothing more than one of the resentful spirits beneath him. Ha ha ha, laughed the death spirit race elder. Him? Are you trying to make me laugh to death? Ignoring whether or not he can become sovereign, I'd kill him nonetheless, sneered Long Chen. He's intentionally provoking you, said Sovereign Zi Yang. Pulling Long Chen out of resentful Death City and back into the Sovereign Seal. I know, but he really is infuriating, said Long Chen. He also knew that the Elder was trying to leave a shadow in his heart to make it harder for him to advance. If Long Chen ended up with the Heart Devil, he would have fallen for his plot. It went without saying that this Elder, who had lived for countless years, was a crafty old fox. He instantly saw through Long Chen's weakness and Long Chen really cooperated with him. With just a test, Long Chen blew up in anger. Sovereign Zi Yang shook his head slightly, seemingly speechless toward Long Chen's temper. If he knew the other side was doing it intentionally, why fall for it? He had never seen such a person. Suddenly, space quivered, and tens of thousands of divine items appeared before Long Chen. Some of them were already rusted and broken, and some were stained with blood. The fact that divine items would rust was a testament to how powerful the blood staining them was to be able to corrode even divine items. If they were just rusted, then that was fine. But many of them were broken and essentially scrap metal. Yet, Sovereign Zi Yang had still brought them back. Their corpses have been turned into that state. So I trust that their descendants wouldn't want to see them in such an insulting state. However, these weapons are a testament to their bravery. I will definitely pass them to their descendants as proof that their ancestors were peerless heroes, said Long Chen solemnly. Sovereign Zi Yang said, Little brother, I can't quite understand you. You are different from us. 
and perhaps that is why we were protectors, but you are the Gamma Breaker. I leave the Martial Heaven Continent to you then. Like I said before, when the responsibility comes, you will understand what it means to be duty-bound. Goodbye. After Sovereign Zi Yang patted Long Chen's shoulder, he slowly faded along with the aura of a sovereign. The beautiful violet light was then replaced with darkness. As the sovereign seal also faded away, Long Chen was overwhelmed with sadness and frustration. Sovereign Zi Yang, a hero of a generation, had also died. He was unable to accept this reality. When the sovereign seal vanished, the endless resentful spirits within resentful death city were released of the pressure holding them back. They began to roar. Long Chen's heart shuddered. He then ran through the channel back into the corrupt god cemetery and went straight to the martial heaven continent. Looking back at the entrance to the corrupt god cemetery, he felt like it was a dream. He had actually met Sovereign Zi Yang. If that news spread, it would shake the continent. However, this secret could not be spoken. What if someone asked what pointers the Sovereign gave? What if they asked where the Sovereigns were? Was he supposed to say that the Sovereigns were already dead and that he was somehow supposed to save the world? Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, are you alright? The disciples immediately shouted in relief when they saw Long Chen return. They had been nervous the entire time, but he really had come back safe and sound. Seeing their concerned expressions, Long Chen couldn't help recalling Sovereign Zi Yang's final words. When the responsibility comes, you will understand what it means to be duty-bound. I'm fine. Don't worry, said Long Chen as he patted the shoulder of one warrior. It was just a casual action, but it made that warrior indescribably moved. In his heart, Long Chen was on the same level as a god. After that, Long Chen waved at those warriors and stepped onto his flying boat, flying to a nearby city. Right now, the people living in it looked listless. The old sights of people clamoring on the streets were gone. As the dark era had descended, everyone was anxious, especially the commoners. They didn't have the power to resist whatever came to be, so they could only entrust their hopes to the experts of this world. Coupled with the fact that the sovereign had yet to appear, this was the worst news that made people feel despair. Although the Martial Heaven Alliance was now fully united, with them having the support of the High Priest, Daoist Heavenly Feather, and the elusive music Immortal Palace's Music Master, they were facing various terrifying danger zones like the Yun Yang World, Devil Spirit Mountain, and Resentful Death City on their own. As for the Divine Families, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Family Alliance, Pill Valley, and the Sea Demons, they were enemies with Long Chen. Because of their conflict, the continent was in danger of breaking apart from the inside before any outsiders even came. The experts of the cultivation world, especially those of the Martial Heaven Alliance, had high hopes for Long Chen. Unfortunately, the commoners didn't have that understanding of the cultivation world. All they knew was that the sovereign was the savior of the world, and there were no signs of anyone setting foot on that path. Because of it, while the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts were still active and had some positivity, the commoners were shivering in terror every day. In the city, Long Chen stepped onto the transportation formation, and after several transfers, he appeared in the Grand Zaya's capital. What he didn't expect was that here, the city was still as lively as ever. It seemed that people weren't affected at all. Greetings, Great General when Long Chen appeared. The warriors guarding the transportation formation immediately bowed to him. Long Chen smiled. Back when he had fled to the Grand Shia, the Grand Shia had taken him in. After that, he had been given the title of the National Protector, Great General Long Chen, and had received the emissaries from the Grand Han Ancient Nation. At that time, quite a few interesting things occurred. Now that he thought back to it, he cherished those memories and also found it a bit funny. He the so-called National Protector, didn't seem to have any actual responsibilities. It seemed that his work in this post hadn't lasted more than a few days. Anyway, the Grand Shia hadn't given him any pay as a soldier either, so it could be considered that both sides were even. After Long Chen greeted those warriors, he set off for the Wine God Palace. However, on his way, he ended up drawing the attention of countless people, especially youngsters, in the Grand Shia. Long Chen was exceptionally well-known. 
what had occurred in the Grand Shia back then had been recorded as stories and legends for the commoners. Therefore, it could be said that Long Chen had managed to push the storytelling profession in the Grand Shia to its peak. Some wine and tea houses even hired storytellers to show how high class they were. Moreover, portraits of Long Chen were selling very well. As a result, when Long Chen walked through the streets, he drew out countless startled cries. Excuse me, that's my big brother. Suddenly, a group of people squeezed through the crowd, and a young girl's voice rang out. Chapter 2602 Visitor from the Divine Family's Xiaoyu Long Chen smiled and cried out when he saw his little sister. Long Xiaoyu had grown taller and prettier again. As the guards around Long Xiaoyu parted the crowd, Long Xiaoyu ran over and hugged Long Chen, her face red from emotion. Long Chen also tightly hugged her. Xiaoyu, when did you become so coarse? If mom knew of this, she'd definitely scold you. Mrs. Long was a noble with high requirements for her children, especially when it came to manners. Because of it, Long Chen had often been scolded when he hadn't listened to her. Mrs. Long was always worried about him, but the Long family had been suppressed at that time, so she hadn't had that much time to bother with him. Now that her life was stable, she had more than enough time to teach Long Xiaoyu, and that liveliness was something Long Xiaoyu often complained about. HMPH, you still remember us? You didn't come see us after all this time. Long Xiaoyu wrinkled her nose stubbornly. Long Chen felt a sour feeling. Long Xiaoyu was extremely attached to him, perhaps even more than their parents. Their father, Long Xiangxiao, was carefree and focused on winnemaking, while their mother had extremely high expectations of her, making her feel sullen. Hence, only when she was with Long Chen was she particularly happy and relaxed, because no matter what wrong she did, Long Chen would protect her. Ever since she was young, Long Chen was like her protector god and pride. In the Grand Shia, no matter who spoke of him, they would be filled with worship. However, Long Chen was too busy. Every time he came back, he was only able to stay a few days. Hence, she was always counting the days until he returned. Now that he was back, she was excited but also sad. After that, she didn't know why, but she began to cry. It's your big brother's fault. I promise you, as long as I have time. I'll definitely come see you, promised Long Chen, wiping away her tears. Long Chen sighed inside. In the cultivation world, people did not have the freedom to do whatever they wanted. That truly was an unbreakable law. Even now that he was a peerless heavenly genius who stood at the peak of the martial path in many people's eyes, even though he was a target that countless people were hoping to reach, he himself knew just how powerless he was. No matter how powerful a person was, they couldn't choose to live the life that they wished, let alone him. Even the sovereigns were the same. Despite their power, didn't they also die? While with Sovereign Zi Yang, Long Chen had once noticed that Sovereign Zi Yang had wanted to say something, but he hadn't said it in the end. However, based on the look in his eyes, Long Chen guessed that he had wanted to ask about the Bidang family. That was a look that Long Chen recognized. Sovereign Zi Yang had given up on that love due to his own bitter struggles. With that as proof, even a sovereign couldn't fulfill their heart's desire. Big brother, I'm not mad. I know that you're a big hero. My teachers taught me that heroes like you are holding up the world. The reason we can live so worry-free is because heroes like you are holding back the darkness so that we can stand in the light. So I know that you're very busy. I'm not mad. I just really miss you. Long Chen's heart skipped a beat. It was like a bolt of lightning had gone off in his mind. Long Xiaoyu's words echoed the same tones that Sovereign Zi Yang had mentioned repeatedly. When you fall into darkness and despair, don't give up. Work hard to see the light behind the darkness. Perhaps, the light is right behind you. Long Xiaoyu had said such words casually, but Sovereign Zi Yang would not possibly say such a thing randomly. Perhaps there was some enlightenment to be found. Big brother, please don't be sad. All right? I won't cry any longer. Long Xiaoyu wiped away her tears, holding them back upon seeing how serious Long Chen's expression was. Long Chen was pulled back into reality by her voice. Seeing her cute appearance, he felt an ache inside. He was not living up to his duty as her big brother. 
Long Chen kissed her forehead and smiled warmly. Foolish girl, your big brother is happy whenever he sees you. Long Xiaoyu smiled, holding her hand. She started skipping to the Wine God Palace. With the guards opening the path, things went very very smoothly. After a while, Long Xiaoyu suddenly asked, Big brother, can you carry me? Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Long Xiaoyu was now as tall as his chest. How could he carry her like a child? How about I carry you on my back? Long Chen squatted down, and his sister happily ran behind him and jumped on. He, good thing mom isn't here, or she'd scold us, giggled Long Xiaoyu. She leaned against his back. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. His mother was trying to restrict someone who was so lively. The bigger she grew, the more she would resist. It seemed that he would have to warn his mother that some things were simply part of someone's character, and it was difficult to change. In the end, Long Xiaoyu was not that kind of gentle and refined girl, so having her be a classical refined daughter of a noble family was not realistic. It would only harm their relationship. Oh, Xiaoyu, you started cultivating asked Long Chen, surprised to sense she had reached the tendon transformation realm. Yes. Mom didn't want me to cultivate, but seeing that others who cultivated were able to fly through the air, I kept begging her. He, she was finally moved by me and permitted me to start cultivating, said Long Xiaoyu very, pleased, moved, what a way to put it. It seemed more like she had nagged and nagged until even Mrs. Long couldn't handle it. This little girl really had some smarts. Amazing. When I was your age, I was still a chi gathering, said Long Chen. In truth, Long Xiaoyu wasn't very talented. One's natural talent was mostly affected by a person's father and mother. The stronger the parents, the stronger the child on average. However, at the same time, the higher the cultivation base, the lower the chances of conceiving a child. Because of this, many experts would end up having children at various realms to protect against both scenarios. One aspect was having stronger descendants while the other was being young enough. As for Long Xiangxiao's bloodline, it was very ordinary. There were no experts who had reached the Xianchen realm amongst their ancestors, resulting in Long Xiaoyu's talent also being ordinary. The reason that Long Xiaoyu was able to so quickly reach her current realm was entirely thanks to the cultivation environment in the Grand Xia's capital. Since you've chosen to cultivate, I'll refine a furnace of pills for you that can rebuild your spirit root and allow you to break through your cultivation limit, said Long Chen. Really? But, mom won't be happy. Long Xiaoyu went from very excited to sad midway through. Why? Mom doesn't want me to get too strong. She would rather I be an ordinary person and stay by her side, said Long Xiaoyu sadly. Long Chen was startled. Long Xiaoyu had a vision that surpassed her age. She had seen through her mother's thoughts. Mrs. Long didn't wish for Long Xiaoyu to be like Long Chen and leave her to roam the world. Mrs. Long was just an ordinary person, and a mother's love was selfish. But there was a price to this selfishness. It might cut off Long Xiaoyu's wings. I'll talk to mom. It'll be fine. Remember, time is the most miraculous thing. It can change countless things in this world, including people's thoughts. Sometimes people need time to get used to new ideas. Understand. Long Chen looked back and gave her a mischievous smile. Long Xiaoyu's eyes brightened and she winked. She actually fully understood his meaning. The brother and sister pair laughed. With this weight lifted, Long Xiaoyu became even livelier. Long Chen began to transmit a technique for slowly convincing Mrs. Long of new ideas. Big brother, you're the best, exclaimed Long Xiaoyu. Long Chen smiled, but that smile was a bit bitter inside. If his mother learned of this, would he be cursed to death? They quickly arrived in front of the Wine God Palace. Everything was the same as before. At this moment, he saw the disciple of the Wine God disciple greeting them. Thinking of how he had conned wine out of the Wine God Palace's disciples the first time he had come here, he felt ashamed but also felt close to this dear place. When he passed by Tu Kian Chang's wooden hut, he saw that the fatty was actually at home and busy with something. Hey, fatty, it's been a long time. Your clothes are getting tighter, greeted Long Chen. 
Tu Kian Chang ended up dropping whatever he was fiddling with and furiously turned around. But when he saw Long Chen, he laughed. However, that laugh also quickly changed. Hurry and finish your business. Once you're done, come back and drink some of my new wine. Long Chen smiled. I don't have any business. We can drink right now. Let me have a taste of this peerless wine of yours. Long Chen had long since finished the wine that Tu Kian Chang had given him last time. His wine was extremely fierce, and Long Chen was fond of it. Don't joke. That old fellow of the divine families has been waiting three days for you. Get over there. Tu Kian Chang waved. Long Chen was startled. An old fellow from the divine families? Who was that? Chapter 2603 Emissary of the Divine Families in the High Priest's Home Long Chen saw a person seated with the High Priest, and he was extremely surprised to see that person. Pil Doyen Long Chen hadn't expected that the old fellow that Tu Kian Chang had mentioned was actually the Divine Families Pil Doyen. The Pil Doyen smiled. Are you surprised? Long Chen nodded. It truly is surprising. Come, sit. The high priest waved at Long Chen to come over. Long Chen then bowed slightly and sat. The high priest and the Pil Doyen represented the martial heaven continent and the divine families. So Long Chen felt a bit uncomfortable. No need to feel restrained. I came over this time with my own mission. But whether or not it is successful has nothing to do with me. I merely need to pass on a few words. Said the Pil Doyen. Long Chen nodded. Pil Doyen. I feel great respect for you. But when it comes to the divine families, I really feel bad talking bad about them in front of you two seniors. Ha ha ha. The high priest and the Pil Doyen laughed together. This character of Long Chen's was truly direct. Although he hadn't cursed the divine families, it was no different from if he had cursed them. Not at all angry. The Pil Doyen said. Do you know? Because of you, the divine families almost went to war. The Long family almost started fighting the Yi and Zhao families. Not even the Jiang family and Lord Venerate were able to mediate things. In the end, they ended up waking up the Lord Saint who has been in seclusion for countless years. Oh, there was such a thing. Long Chen was interested. The Pil Doyen explained things from the start. The very day that the Divine families retreated, the Yi and Zhao families began to gather their forces. Although the Lord Venerate said that things were to end there, the two families were unwilling to accept it. They said that they would rather be punished than let Long Chen off. However, it was understandable. The Zhao family's sovereign sprout, Jarishan, had been killed, and the Yi family's divine item had been smashed apart. Both families had suffered unprecedented humiliation at the hands of Long Chen. The Yi and Zhao families had even struck the great bell of the divine families and cast a vote on how to handle Long Chen. If the vote passed, the divine families would have to mobilize their full power to slay Long Chen. Based on the divine families' laws, not even the Lord Venerate would be able to stop such a thing. The Long family went all out resisting this. But the Yi and Zhao families fought just as hard to push it forward. As for the Jiang family, around half of them were supporting the vote. After all, Long Chen had disgraced the divine families in front of the people of the divine families and the martial heaven continent. For them, killing Jarishan was not just an insult but also a public provocation of war against the divine families. At that moment, Everyone from the divine families had been forced to return to their world when the great bell was struck. It was a summon that included the armies guarding the Yun Yang world and Devil Spirit Mountain. Hence, all the squads stationed at various locations had to return to the divine families. After that, all the warriors entered combat ready state. The four families' core forces were all ready to fight. There were a total of 517 people between the four families who were qualified to vote. The final result was that 70% supported the vote, and 30% were against it. The entire Long family had voted no, while everyone from the Zhao and Yi families had voted yes. As for the Jiang family, they were originally supporting it, but when Feng Fei voted no, it startled quite a few of their voters. They looked between Feng Fei and Jiang Wachen. Feng Fei had declared that although she detested Long Chen, the truth was the truth. Long Chen might have been wrong, but Jarishan had also been wrong. On the martial path, life and death were up to fate, and the weak would be washed away by the strong. To put it simply, 
a person had to be willing to gamble with their life. If someone wanted to kill, they had to be prepared to be killed as well. For Feng Fei, complaining about the results of such a battle was a disgrace to the divine family's dignity. After saying that, Feng Fei left, but her words caused quite a few people from the Jiang family to change their minds and also vote no. However, the final result was still a 70% approval, so it didn't matter. According to the Divine Family's laws, the Lord Venerate would have to lead the Divine Family's forces to slaughter Long Chen, even if the Divine Families had to declare war against the Martial Heaven continent. At that moment, a voice rang out. All things have to have the big picture taken into consideration. The arrival of that voice caused the Yi and Zhao family's expressions to change. This matter had actually woken the Lord Saint, and he immediately invalidated the result of their vote. Although he had not said that he was directly against it, his meaning was clear. With the current state of the Martial Heaven continent, with invaders on the verge of attacking, the big picture was what mattered. Hence, with just a word, the Yi and Zhao family's people were suppressed. They didn't dare to go against the Lord Saint's order. On the other hand, the Long family's people were filled with smiles. In this battle, the Long family had come out ahead. However, things were now in an awkward position. Due to the striking of the Great Bell, the Divine Family's disciples had all been called back. The problem was whether or not they were supposed to send back their warriors. Some places were easy to do so, but it would be awkward with the Yin Yang World and Devil Spirit Mountain. The Divine Family's warriors had silently left, so the Martial Heaven Continent viewed this as a betrayal. Could the Divine Family's army really go back? They would have to discuss this first. If they wanted to fight off the experts of the other worlds, the divine families alone could not do it, nor could the martial heaven continents experts. They had to work together. However, splitting apart was easy, but coming back together was hard. Considering that they had been defending such a core area and had left without a word, who would trust them again? The divine families were caught in an awkward position. As a matter of fact, the Lord Venerate had furiously declared that whoever had caused this disaster should fix it themselves. He was naturally infuriated. He had declared that this matter was over, but the Zhao and Yi families refused to let things go. Hence, he no longer cared. However, how could the Zhao and Yi families actually lower their face to apologize to the Martial Heaven Continent? It was impossible. They hadn't made any moves. Clearly. Both families were furious and embarrassed. The Zhao family's sovereign sprout had been killed, and the Yi family's precious divine item had been broken. But they didn't win anything back, and now they needed to apologize to others? Even if they were tortured, they wouldn't do it. As a result, this matter continued all the way until now. In the end, even the Lord Venerate hadn't been able to keep watching. He couldn't force them too far. After all, they were also victims. Without any other choice, the Lord Venerate had thickened his face and gone to request aid from the Pil Doyen, asking him to come here. And so, he was here. Let me first state my position clearly. I'm only in charge of passing on words. Whatever feelings you have, whatever complaints you have, don't vent them on me. I'm innocent. The Pil Doyen raised his hand and laughed. It was only after hearing all this that Long Chen understood just what had gone on with the divine families. But just who was the Lord Saint? Was he really such a terrifying expert? The Divine Family's rankings were a bit unclear. However, since the Pil Doyen had said all this, Long Chen felt a bit bad. He couldn't blame the Pil Doyen. But whenever the Divine Families were mentioned, he was truly pissed off. Pil Doyen, I don't feel the slightest negativity when it comes to you, said Long Chen awkwardly. The Pil Doyen had truly given him a good feeling. He was an elder worthy of respect. Without the heavenly flame orb, Huo Linger wouldn't have transformed. Hence, Long Chen believed that the Pil Doyen was completely different from the rest of the divine families. Pil Doyen, are you here to say that the divine families wish to join forces with the martial heaven continent against the invaders? No. I'm only in charge of passing on words. The details will have to be discussed by you guys, said the Pil Doyen. Discussed by us? as in me and the divine families? No. Although my guts aren't small, I'm not going to run to the divine families and get myself killed, said Long Chen. 
70% of the people with authority in the divine families wanted to kill him, so going there was suicide. He wasn't so foolish, the high priest said. That is why the divine families sent over the pill doyen. You mean that with the pill doyen present, the divine families won't dare to touch me? Asked Long Chen. As long as you don't randomly kill people, it will be no problem, promised the pill doyen. Now Long Chen understood. The divine families were seeking a way out of their awkward position, and it was to look for the pill doyen who had a certain relationship with the high priest. Perhaps he was the only one in the divine families that the high priest trusted. Due to this, the high priest believed that with the pill doyen, Long Chen could return to the divine families safely. Theoretically, both sides would be discussing matters equally, and so they should choose a neutral place to discuss things. But by making Long Chen go to the divine families, it made it appear as if he was the weaker party asking for help, giving the divine families face. This was what the divine families wanted. The divine families wanted a way out without losing face. And by going to the divine families, Long Chen would allow outsiders to view this as giving the divine families face. After all, Long Chen had killed Jarishan in front of everyone, and the divine families could not accept this humiliation. By going to the divine families himself, he could resolve this conflict. Long Chen actually didn't want to go. However, it seemed that even the high priest supported this. Was that to say that the high priest also wished to cooperate with the divine families? The high priest looked at Long Chen, but he only laughed. You are the one in charge of the martial heaven continent. Everything is up to you. No matter what decision you make, these old bones of mine will support you. The pill doyen suddenly stood. I'll go take a look at the high priest's peach blossom forest. That's the only place I haven't gone to in the wine god palace. You two can chat. The pill doyen left, leaving only Long Chen and the high priest talking. High priest, to tell the truth, I really detest the divine families. I don't really want to work with them. They aren't reliable, said Long Chen. But deep in your soul, you feel something drawing you to them. Isn't that very contradictory, said the high priest profoundly. You, you have to face what you have to face. Are you getting afraid now that you're on the verge of unraveling this mystery said the high priest. High priest, how did you know? Asked Long Chen. Stunned. Chapter 2604 The high priest's encouragement The high priest shook his head. I don't know that much about it, but I do know about the major affair that happened in the divine families those years ago. I have also inadvertently heard your mother mention how you came into her care. At that time. I found it to be far too coincidental. The timing matches perfectly. Long Chen's heart pounded. It seemed that the high priest knew about his origins. His voice quivered as he asked, High priest, my biological father and mother, are they still healthy? The high priest looked at Long Chen kindly. No matter how strong a person is, they still have fatal weak points. Did you grow afraid because you didn't hear what you wanted to hear in the divine families? Long Chen nodded. He truly was afraid. He was afraid that the day he learned the truth would be a day of tragedy. A tragedy that he could not stop or fix. Long Chen had a kind of bad feeling. During his time in the divine families, he hadn't felt any sense of home, nor had he sensed a familiar bloodline aura. According to reason, with the senses of the nine-star hegemon body art, it was impossible for him to not feel anything if his father and mother were in the divine families. However, even after all that time in the divine families, he hadn't found a single clue. His heart sank. He felt fear. He was afraid that the moment things became clear, everything would vanish into smoke and mist. Another reason was because he wasn't strong enough. He didn't want to expose himself too early. Just who could be so cruel as to excavate a baby's spirit root, spirit blood, and spirit bone? Although Long Chen didn't have a child. He imagined that he would go crazy if such a thing happened to his child. It was something that could and would not be forgiven until everyone involved suffered the cruelest death imaginable. However, there did not seem to be such a thing in the divine families. In other words, there was only one possibility. That was the possibility that Long Chen was most afraid of. If things did reveal themselves, then he would not be able to endure. He would take vengeance immediately. However, if he wasn't strong enough, that would be suicide. 
That was why the current Long Chen felt extremely conflicted. He wanted to know the secrets of his origin, but he was also afraid to know. So Long Chen didn't want to go to the divine families and accidentally expose this secret. Therefore, now that the high priest mentioned this topic, he instantly tensed. He wished with all his heart that the high priest could tell him that his biological father and mother were still alive. The high priest looked at Long Chen. Child, there are many rules in this world that cannot be changed. If a caterpillar wishes to break out of the cocoon and become a butterfly, it must endure the pain of the transformation inside the cocoon. No one can help you. This process is very important. If anyone helps you, you will not be able to experience what you need to experience. If a cocoon is broken for you, when you spread your wings to fly, you will find that your wings are powerless. No expert can walk a smooth path as it cannot create an expert. It is the difficulties on the journey that make an expert. So your hesitation will make you lose those opportunities. Could it be that even at this level, you still believe in luck? If your luck isn't reliable, then rely on your power. Face what you need to face. You can't run from it. So walk toward it boldly. Furthermore, being pessimistic now is a bit too early. That final sentence brought Long Chen endless hope. The high priest seemed to be vaguely indicating that things weren't as dire as he had imagined. Many thanks. Senior Long Chen bowed deeply. Although he was a peerless heavenly genius in other people's eyes, Long Chen had his own soft spots. However, these words from the high priest relieved Long Chen of a heavy weight. It was like a curse had been expelled. His entire body became lighter, and he even felt like the air was clearer. Go. Do what you need to do. These old bones of mine can endure for a while. You don't have less power on your side than others. So don't worry, said the high priest. Long Chen nodded gratefully. With the high priest's full support, he had plenty of confidence. All right. Then three days later, I will take a trip to the divine families and see their attitude, said Long Chen. After Long Chen left, the high priest stared at the wine god statue for a while, seemingly lost in memories. In the end, he smiled. A lion of a father cannot have a dog of a son. The divine families really are fools. Even after all that, they didn't learn. Could this all be the cycle of karma? The heavenly deos really are unfathomable. Long Chen immediately went to see his father and mother after leaving the high priest. His return delighted the two of them. Mrs. Long immediately got to work cooking his favorite foods. Long Chen suddenly recalled his agreement with Tu Kai and Shang, and took advantage of the time before the food was ready to go see him. Fatty, do you have any good wine? Ha? Huh? You? Long Chen suddenly stared at Tu Kai and Shang in shock. Long Chen was shocked to find that Tu Kai and Shang's realm had also reached the peak of Nether Passage. This fatty had already missed his golden cultivation time but his cultivation base was still crazily rising to the point that it even stunned Long Chen. He, you're amazed, right? It's because I broke through a major barrier in my wine dao. Naturally my realm will also increase. Here, have some of my newest wine. My recent breakthrough has to do with this wine in particular. You're blessed to have a chance to taste it. Other than the high priest, no one else has drunk this wine. Tu Kai and Chang was extremely proud of this new wine. Even the scars on his face seemed to be blooming. To tell the truth, I really like your wine the best. It's simple, direct, and strong. After drinking it, all other wines taste flavorless. I've long since been craving for more, said Long Chen. Tu Kai and Chang's wine was incredibly strong. It could not be called fine wine. But after drinking it, a grand feeling would slowly fill his chest. This kind of feeling was something only Tu Kai and Chang was able to draw out. Here, drink a bowl. Tu Kai and Chang passed a bowl of wine to Long Chen. It was dark red and roiling, and small bubbles continuously came out. These bubbles even had runes inside of them, making them look particularly strange but also novel. Good wine. The fragrance is completely locked inside, and the wine energy circulates within it in a never-ending cycle. Your realm really has grown. Long Chen looked at the wine and praised Tu Kai and Shang. Just this simple bowl of wine used the wine Dao to reflect the heavenly Deos. Just what kind of miracle had Tu Kai and Shang run into to cause his wine Dao to soar to such a height? The wine god palace was truly mysterious. 
Stop wasting words and drink it, said Tu Kian Chang impatiently. Long Chen raised the bowl and drank a mouthful. As a result, as soon as it entered his throat, he felt like it was exploding. Long Chen spat it out, as if prepared. Tu Kian Chang easily dodged, and the wine fell to the ground. Sizzling sounds rang out. The bricks in the floor had many small holes burned into them. After that, the very bricks themselves suddenly ignited. Damn fatty, are you conning me? This is not wine, raged Long Chen. Even his voice was hoarse after that. What kind of wine was this? It was more like lava. If it was anyone else, they would probably have lost their life from this mouthful. Stop spouting nonsense. If you keep complaining, you'll ruin the feng shu. Tu Kian Chang smiled disdainfully and drank his own mouthful of this wine. His expression didn't even twitch. He was extremely pleased with himself. Long Chen looked at the wine even closer. Looking at the countless bubbles, he realized that this wine's power was related to them. This time, Long Chen drank a small sip. He felt like he was drinking lava as it entered his throat. It was as painful as if he was swallowing millions of needles. When the wine finally reached his stomach, its power burst forth. Long Chen then felt his entire body heat up. He was like a boiled crab. As the fierce wine energy spread, a new wave came. This one was slightly cold. As it flowed through his burning body, an indescribable feeling of refreshment filled him. Good wine. Long Chen couldn't hold back his praise. With this one sip, his pores were fully opened, and his spiritual yuan was stimulated. Even his blood chi was flowing rapidly. With just one sip, he instantly entered a combat-ready state. There was no need for a warm-up. This wine was truly powerful. Ha ha ha. Tu Kian Chang laughed. Only the high priest had drunk this wine before, not because he had only shown it to the high priest, but because no one else could endure drinking this wine of his. A person had to have a powerful constitution to drink it, or it would be no different from poison. It was lonely being an expert, so the fact that Long Chen could drink this wine delighted Tu Kian Shang. He took out a jug of it and poured out three more bowls. When Tu Kian Shang poured out the fourth bowl, Long Chen hastily said, this wine is too fierce. I have to eat with my parents soon, so I can't drink too much. Long Chen felt his blood chi surging throughout his body, almost to the point where he couldn't control it. Any more and his aura would burst out and he wouldn't be able to suppress it. If that happened, Long Shiang Xiao and Mrs. Long wouldn't be able to endure that pressure. After all, this was Long Chen's first time drinking this wine. He didn't have Tu Kian Chang's resistance toward it. Fine, once you're done, we can drink until we're happy, said Tu Kian Shang. Tu Kian Shang gave Long Chen ten full jugs of this wine. These were no ordinary jugs. They contained their own giant spaces and could fit an entire house inside. Every jug weighed five tons, and this was all of Tu Kian Shang's stock. He gave it all to Long Chen, making even the shameless Long Chen feel too embarrassed to take it all. Tu Kian Chang stubbornly said that he could drink it whenever he wanted by making more, so Long Chen should take all of it. Once he got used to it, the two of them could have a real drinking competition Novaloon.com for a peerless Winnemaker. Seeing someone else drink their wine delighted them even more than drinking it themselves. Tu Kian Chang was particularly fond of Long Chen because Long Chen was the only one who liked his wine. After that, Long Chen returned home and ate with his family. They talked and laughed happily. At night, Long Chen held Mrs. Long's hand and gently told her about Long Xiaoyu, asking her to give Xiaoyu a bit more space. She shouldn't make Long Xiaoyu feel like she was drowning in a river of love. With this reminder from Long Chen, Mrs. Long also realized that she had been a bit too stubborn by wanting to keep Long Xiaoyu in her hands forever. Mrs. Long was reasonable, but as she spoiled and pampered Long Xiaoyu, she also grew dependent on her. She now realized that Long Xiaoyu was no longer a child. She had grown up. If she loved her, she had to give her freedom. Long Chen then spent three days at the Wine God Palace. The Pil Doyen left on the second day, most likely to report the results of his mission to the Divine Families. After three days, Long Chen straightened out his emotions and set out to the Divine Families with a flying boat. However, as soon as he entered through their transportation formation, 
He was surrounded by countless experts. Long Chen, how brazen. You dare to come to the divine families an icy-faced man blocked Long Chen's path. Chapter 2605 Show of Power I've always been brazen. The entire martial heaven continent is aware of it. Are you acting like this to show just how stupid you are? Or is this simply a manifestation of your stupidity said Long Chen. This man was wearing silver robes. So he was most likely one of the guards of a sovereign sprout. But Long Chen didn't know which sovereign sprout he belonged to. That person's shout drew the attention of the surrounding warriors of the divine families. And they immediately formed an encirclement around Long Chen. Thousands of them glared at Long Chen furiously. If you're here to show me the way, tuck away your tail and do your mission. If not, then scram. I haven't killed anyone in quite a few days. I don't want to start smelling like blood again, said Long Chen impatiently. Don't be rude to our guest. A new group of people came over, and their leader was someone very familiar. It was the Long family's heaven elder, Elder Long. Only once he arrived did that silver robe person snort and leave. After that, Elder Long looked at Long Chen with a faint smile. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. Have you been well? Nothing bad has happened to my body, but I don't feel too happy inside, said Long Chen lightly. Elder Long didn't take it badly. He only laughed and gestured to Long Chen. Let's talk while we walk. As Elder Long had brought a group of experts from the Long family to accompany Long Chen, the other disciples of the Divine families got out of their way, but not before glaring at Long Chen furiously, expressing all of their hostility. However, Long Chen didn't even look at them. I'm curious. You seem very unhappy. Has there been some misunderstanding asked Elder Long as if they were just chatting happily. Do I need to explain it clearly? Long Chen frowned. Was he unaware of what the Long family had done? Elder Long looked at Long Chen. I remember the first time we met. I told you that the Long family was willing to cooperate with you. This cooperation was to share risks and profits. Why mix random emotions into it as well? Long Chen stared at him and thought about it. This truly was the case. His collaboration with the Long family was simply each side taking what they needed. The Long family had not promised him anything and he had not promised the Long family anything. Elder Long smiled and suddenly switched to a spiritual transmission. Long Chen, you're still too young, and you act based on your emotions. That's a betrayal of the original intent of our collaboration. You care too much about relationships. Due to the 8th Heavenly Dragon Legion, you've almost started to think yourself to be a member of the Divine Families. Let me give you some personal advice. If you wish to collaborate with a giant existence, you can never use emotions, because no major power will make decisions based on feelings. Their only goal is profit. If it benefits you, then do it. If not, then pull out. People standing to the side criticizing people's morals and blaming others are foolish trash. Other than cursing people, they have no ability. The Long family doesn't owe you anything. Likewise, you owe the Long family nothing as well. Each party is simply getting what they want from the other. Everyone is benefiting, right? Long Chen's heart jumped. Elder Long's cultivation base might not be high, but he was highly intelligent. He was able to use a spectator's viewpoint to see things clearly. Before this, Long Chen was angry because the Long family had not given him any information about what was going on in the Starfield Divine World. However, now when he thought about it, the Long family was under no obligation to tell him those things. They were part of the Divine Families, and they couldn't just expose their secrets to him. It went without saying that Elder Long was truly skilled. With just a few words, he made Long Chen's anger toward the Long family vanish. Many thanks for the reminder Long Chen nodded. Elder Long smiled. What's between us is nothing more than a mutually beneficial collaboration. There is no need for thanks. Relationships with integrity and morality are between individual people and rarely between actual sects and powers. Remember, when it comes to large powers, only profit can draw them together. When the profits end, so does the relationship. I heard that you're very close with the Huaian sect, so I had assumed that you understood this principle. Never use feelings when it comes to business. Otherwise, you will become enemies with the other party. Long Chen nodded and then cupped his fists. 
Many thanks for your wisdom. Junior is enlightened this reminder from Elder Long was extremely useful to Long Chen. Just the fact that he would do this while standing from the position of the Long family showed that he had his own bottom line. He was an elder worthy of respect. Elder Long simply smiled and didn't respond. After that, the two of them passed through two more transportation formations before arriving at a mountain. This was somewhere Long Chen had never gone to before. I'm only sending you here. The rest of the path is up to you, said Elder Long with a double meaning. Long Chen nodded with thanks and walked toward the mountain gates. When he passed through them, the world changed, and a straight path appeared stretching toward the mountain peak. All of a sudden, his body tightened when he saw that both sides of the path were filled with countless warriors of the divine families. These warriors were all true experts that had experienced countless battles. Right now, all of them had their hands on their weapons, killing intent exuding out of them. They were all experts at the peak of Nether Passage. Is this an intimidation tactic? TCH. How immature. However, I have no choice but to say that you succeeded, said Long Chen indifferently. Long Chen truly was shocked. So the warriors that he had seen in the Starfield Divine World were just a fraction of the warriors of the Divine Families. Their power was truly astonishing. However, Long Chen's words caused their murderous faces to twitch. They almost tripped. These warriors looked at Long Chen oddly, but they didn't say a word. Usually, the killing intent of 10 million experts was enough to make a person unable to move from the pressure, but it was useless against Long Chen. It seemed that he couldn't even sense it. Perhaps he had killed so many people that he was already numb to killing intent. Anyway, Long Chen knew that this was a show of might from the divine families. They wanted to shock him, to show him their terror. Therefore, Long Chen ignored them. He was swaggering through their formation, making these warriors clench their teeth angrily. It seemed that they were nothing in Long Chen's eyes. The next moment, weapons came out of their sheaths and space solidified with freezing killing intent. However, Long Chen's expression didn't change. He continued walking according to his original tempo. The divine families really are powerful, but I don't see the eighth heavenly dragon Legion. It seems that they're still holding back. Long Chen's divine sense spread, but he didn't sense Shen Chen Feng and the other's auras. Nevertheless, if you're trying to scare me, then you're wasting your energy. Long Chen shook his head. He disdained this way of handling things of the divine families. Did they view him as a coward? At this moment, those warriors even began to circulate their blood chi, raising their auras. I'm warning you, don't try using divine sense to lock me down, or I'll slaughter you. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try it. This is my only warning. Long Chen suddenly stopped and turned toward one particular person amongst the crowd. That warrior suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood and collapsed on the ground. Others didn't know what had happened, but they knew that Long Chen had done something. In that instant, it appeared as if they were one step away from charging over and killing him. However, Long Chen continued walking. In the end, those warriors didn't attack, and Long Chen reached the end of the path. As he stepped up the stairs, before he even saw what was at the top, pressure crashed down. The bricks beneath his feet shattered, and it caused Long Chen's expression to change. This pressure was trying to force him to kneel. Moreover, this was a bloodline pressure, most likely the specific bloodline power of the divine families. Furious, Long Chen roared and erupted with his own blood chi. A majestic dragon roar resounded throughout the world. In the blink of an eye, the bricks around Long Chen exploded, and dragon scales covered his body. Right now, a blood-colored tide surged around him, blasting apart the pressure. Only then did Long Chen manage to raise his head and look at his surroundings. However, this made him even more furious. This was a palace with over a thousand elders inside. These elders all had heavenly Daruns revolving around them, seeming to be one with heaven and earth. They were all heaven-merging experts. This is how the divine families treat their guests. How fucking shameless. Why not just fight? Long Chen cursed and took out Evil Moon, pointing it at those elders. The divine families were really going too far, trying to embarrass him. This many heaven merging experts were using their bloodline power to suppress him. Cheeky brat. Are the divine families really trying to work together with such an unrefined person? 
an old woman snorted disdainfully. The divine families are actually working with someone so inferior? That's practically the greatest insult in our history, sneered an old man. As a human, he doesn't even have human blood. He uses the blood of a beast. What a half-breed, sneered another elder. Just as everyone was insulting him, Long Chen made his move. Long Chen arrived right in front of that person. With a simple slap, the elder's face caved in, and one of his eyes even flew out. As a result, everyone was stunned, not having expected that Long Chen would dare to attack in front of this many people. Furthermore, he wasn't affected by all this bloodline pressure. Brood, face your death, roared the slapped elder. At this moment, Long Chen directly stabbed Evil Moon through that elder's chest. Who dares to try and touch me? Shouted Long Chen. Chapter 2606 The evil hand Long Chen had Evil Moon stabbing through the elder of the divine family's chest. Right now, black runes lit up on top of Evil Moon, filled with explosive power ready to be unleashed at any moment. Even if that elder was a heaven merging expert, his life was still in Long Chen's hands. Seven other elders were just a few feet away from Long Chen, but they came to a sudden stop, not daring to attack. Although they detested Long Chen, they knew that he was a madman. He had even killed a sovereign sprout, so he wouldn't be afraid of killing one of their heaven merging elders. In fact, this elder belonged to the Zhao family, so he naturally hated Long Chen to the bone. Their side had been extremely unwilling from the start to have Long Chen be invited here to chat. However, he had never dreamed that Long Chen would be able to ignore their bloodline pressure with the Azure Dragon battle armor. He was also the unlucky one to be standing closest to Long Chen. Scram! Long Chen barked at the other elders. He then spun the unlucky elder around, forcing those elders back. Long Chen, hurry and release Elder Zhao Xing, roared those elders. In response, Long Chen slapped the elder in his hand 36 times and this happened in the blink of an eye. No one else was capable of face slapping someone so smoothly, not even a sovereign. After all the slaps, that elder fell unconscious, and his head was no longer in a proper form. His face was no longer recognizable. On the other hand, Long Chen's killing intent was soaring. Calling him a half-breed was insulting his parents. After finishing his slaps, rather than sating his fury, Evil Moon's light suddenly grew. Stop. The various elders had thought that things would turn to negotiations once Long Chen's slaps were done. But Long Chen was going completely off conventional reasoning. He was going to kill his hostage. Suddenly, space twisted. Just as Evil Moon's power erupted, the elder vanished. Everyone was startled and turned to the front of the plaza to see a new group of people. Their leader was a square-faced middle-aged man in violet gold robes. He wore a crown and a jade belt. Divine runes flickered within his eyes whenever he blinked. When he arrived, it felt like spastime had been taken control over. It was as if all fluctuations within heaven and earth existed only for him. The world's law seemed to revolve around him. This was a terrifying expert that could not be described with simple words. He was holding the elder that Long Chen had been about to kill. Greetings, Lord Venerate. All the elders bowed toward him. This was the divine family's Lord Venerate. Beside him were a few dozen people who had come with him. Amongst them were Feng Fei, Long Aoshan, Yi Liangchen, and Jiang Wachen. At this moment, Feng Fei was looking at Long Chen expressionlessly. It wasn't an expression of hatred, nor was it one of friendliness. She was still the same arrogant Feng Fei. As for Long Aoshan, he was rather cold, simply staring at Long Chen indifferently. His expression didn't reveal anything but there was an iciness in his eyes. Long Chen's actions last time had been extremely unsatisfactory to him. He had been sent to help Long Chen, but Long Chen had treated him as an enemy. Furthermore, for some reason, Long Aoshan felt uneasy when it came to Long Chen, and this made him dislike Long Chen even more. Although the Long family wished for him to have a good relationship with Long Chen and pull him to their side, Long Aoshan was extremely displeased with those orders especially considering that Long Chen had cost the Divine Families their face. However, since Long Aoshan stood on the side of the Long Family, he couldn't push Long Chen away, so he didn't display kindness or malice toward Long Chen. As for Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen, their gazes were as sharp as swords. 
They were clearly overflowing with hostility toward Long Chen, especially Yi Liangchen who didn't bother to conceal his killing intent. Last time, he hadn't been able to unleash his full power, allowing Long Chen to take the spotlight. That battle had allowed Long Chen's fame to soar. Experts always trampled over other people's corpses and dignity to advance, but no one was willing to be someone else's stepping stone, especially not people like Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen. For Yi Liangchen in particular, being trapped by Huo Linger and not even managing to have a direct clash against Long Chen was a humiliation. In the outside world, it appeared as if he and Jiang Wachen had joined hands and still hadn't managed to match Long Chen. That drove him crazy. The Yi family had gone all out to force the Martial Heaven Alliance to pay, but the Lord Saint had suppressed things, so Yi Liangchen had no other choice but to temporarily suppress his anger. Heaven Executioner, this person has violated the Divine Family's taboos and lost our face. You should know what to do, said the Lord Venerate. His voice was deep and powerful. Disciple understands. I will immediately activate the execution coffin. A person behind the Lord Venerate stepped up. This person's skin was pale, and his voice was soft, almost like a woman's. Moreover, his body was slender, and his aura was also on the yin side. As soon as he spoke, Long Chen trembled. He stared in shock at that man. The man was reaching out to grab the elder when he sensed Long Chen's reaction. So he turned to look at him. His gaze was sinister like a viper's. Furthermore, his aura was completely bizarre. He was like a spirit from the underworld coming to read people's lives. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. It was him. Definitely him. This voice and his slender hands were identical. Long Chen had seen that pair of cruel hands take away his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. He had seen it in future late back then, and he would never be able to forget it. Long Chen, calm down. Evil Moon's voice resounded through Long Chen's mind, waking him up from his shock and fury. What? Do you know me? Asked the strange man. Long Chen suppressed his fury and coldly said, Yes, of course I know the Divine Family's executioner. I've long since heard that you are a bloody and merciless killer. Yi Yeo Chen brought you up when I was in front of the Yin Yang world. However, I didn't expect that this existence which inspires terror in people was actually someone who was not a man or woman. At this moment, every expert present sucked in a cold gasp of air. They stared at the Heaven Executioner, waiting for his reaction. The Heaven Executioner. This wasn't a name but a title. It was the highest level of authority within the Divine Family's Law Enforcement Division. The Heaven Executioner was an existence almost all members of the Divine Families were terrified of. He was called cold-blooded, merciless, and incomparably cruel because he had an almost perverted desire for torture. All those who had fallen into his hands regretted being born in this world. The Heaven Executioner had strange desires when it came to the human body especially to those with special abilities. It was said that his private room was filled with people's organs. Those people that the divine families had executed were all studied by him. Other than a few people that could be counted, everyone in the divine families was afraid of this fiendish existence. Hence, for Long Chen to call him not a man or woman stunned them all. At the same time, quite a few people felt some admiration that he would dare to say the words that they did not dare to say. Little fellow, I'm very interested in you. The heaven executioner smiled. He whisked away the elder and vanished. Lord Venerate, Elder Jiaoxing was simply overwhelmed by a moment of anger. His words were a bit emotional. But Long Chen, the Zhao family had immediately spoke up for Elder Jiaoxing's mercy. In fact, even the family heads couldn't offend the heaven executioner, because being targeted by him was frightening. Their fear for him even surpassed their fear for the Lord Venerate. Therefore, the Zhao family had only spoke up once the Heaven Executioner was gone. As for the execution coffin, it was the Divine Family's most humane death sentence. A person would have their soul slowly extinguished inside. They would fall unconscious and not feel the slightest pain. Elder Zhao Xing ignored the orders of the Lord Saint. Death is too easy for him. The ones who previously insulted Long Chen can go see the Heaven Executioner themselves for the flogging punishment. The Lord Venerate waved his hand, disregarding the Zhao family head's pleading. 
The people who had previously insulted Long Chen all turned ashen. They didn't dare to say anything though, so they left without another word. The other elders' expressions also changed. The Lord Venerate was truly enraged. He had killed one elder and punished dozens of others. Hence, everyone was silent. Quite a few people rejoiced that they hadn't said anything. As expected, calamity came from the mouth. At this moment, the Zhao family head's expression was ugly, but she could only sit back down. She then glared at Long Chen with rancor that almost turned solid. Do you have any complaints about how I handled things? The Lord Venerate turned to Long Chen, speaking surprisingly politely. This shocked everyone. Long Chen put away Evil Moon and smiled. Nice job. First a show of might, and then killing the chicken to warn the monkey. Not only that, you're also killing two birds with one stone. How could I have any complaints? How could Long Chen not see through the Lord Venerate's intentions? The Lord Venerate had to have been here from the start. Why had he waited until Long Chen had been about to kill that elder? It was because if Long Chen killed him, it would lose the face of the divine families. But by doing it himself, he gave a show of power, not to Long Chen, but to the other elders of the divine families. Essentially, he had also used Long Chen. The Long family's deputy elder shook his head. Long Chen was still too young. How could he directly say such words? Was this not provoking the Lord Venerate? However, unexpectedly, the Lord Venerate smiled. As long as you can see my sincerity, then it's fine. Why don't we have a proper conversation now? Chapter 2607 The most terrifying area Long Chen hadn't expected the Lord Venerate to act so politely. However, considering that Long Chen represented the martial heaven continent with the Wine God Palace, Elusive Music Immortal Palace, the Divine Ice Palace, and the Martial Heaven Alliance, his status had truly reached that level, even if his cultivation base hadn't. Hence, he was qualified to speak equally with the Divine Family's Lord Venerate. Long Chen thought of Elder Long's words. If it was profitable to him, then they could talk. There was no need to talk about things that had nothing to do with profit though. After that, Long Chen nodded. Of course. The Martial Heaven Continent is facing a tribulation, so we should be united against our common foes. The Lord Venerate smiled. That's good. The plan to defend the Martial Heaven Continent can be discussed with you and the four family heads. As for the details, you can slowly discuss it. Unexpectedly, after saying that, the Lord Venerate simply vanished. Long Chen was first confused, but then he understood. If he was the High Priest then the Lord Venerate would naturally have to discuss things himself. However, he was Long Chen. If the Lord Venerate came to talk to him, it would be lowering his seniority. Theoretically, the ones most suited to discuss this with Long Chen were Feng Fei, Long Aoshan, Yi Liangchen, and Jiang Wachen. But three of them had extreme conflicts with him. They probably would start fighting before they even finished discussing things. So the Lord Venerate left this discussion to the four family heads. Although the Zhao and Yi family heads felt hatred for Long Chen, considering that the Lord Venerate had just killed one of the Zhao family's important elders was enough to shake them. At most, they would only express some dissatisfaction. They wouldn't dare to go any further. A table was arranged within the palace. After that, the four families sent out one person each. However, those were not their family heads but their representatives. The Long family's representative was the deputy elder. He had a smile in his eyes as he looked at Long Chen. The representatives of the Jiang, Zhao, and Yi families also sat at the table. Right now, everyone in the palace was silent. The atmosphere was extremely tense. Long Chen sat, also not saying anything. Although he wasn't experienced in negotiations, he knew that the initiative was in his hands. There was no need to rush. With all of them silent, Long Chen directly shut his eyes, waiting for someone to lose patience first. The silence lasted a full incense sticks worth of time before the Divine Family's side lost patience. The Jiang family's representative said, Long Chen, let us discuss the current situation of the Martial Heaven Continent. You should know why the Martial Heaven Continent's heavenly geniuses are still not making their breakthroughs to the Heaven Merging Realm. Correct Long Chen opened his eyes and emotionlessly said, 
Daoist Heavenly Feather said that we are waiting for the Qi of the other worlds to enter the martial heaven continent. Once their laws are all mixed, we can make our breakthrough. At that time, we won't need to fear their laws. The Jiang family elder nodded. Correct. In truth, both we and the experts of the other worlds are waiting for this chance. If they want to enter the martial heaven continent, they need to wait for the laws of their world to mix with the laws of the martial heaven continent. At that point, they can merge with the heavenly deos. That way, they can freely walk upon the continent without being rejected by the continent's laws. Then no one will be limited, and the true war will start. I hear that your friend entered the corrupt god cemetery and opened the gate to resentful death city, causing the death spirit chi inside to be unleashed upon the continent. Do you know that this is opening another channel to the enemies of the martial heaven continent that final turn was quite sharp. He managed to turn the matter of resentful death city into a sharp weapon. By saying that it was done by Long Chen's friend, he was also pulling Long Chen under the burden of the responsibility of such a thing. Long Chen sneered. How laughable. Even if Mo Nian didn't enter resentful death city, would resentful death city not invade the continent that's nonsense? Resentful Death City has remained isolated from the Martial Heaven Continent the entire time. If someone didn't take the initiative to provoke them, why would they attack? Are you trying to avoid responsibility demanded the Zhao family's representative Novaloon.com CM Long Chen was startled to hear this. It seemed that they didn't know that he had entered Resentful Death City. In other words, the corrupt path was not fully allied with the Divine Families. They didn't share all their information with each other. This was curious. What? You can't explain yourself? You can't even muster the courage to dare to accept responsibility for your own actions. The Zhao family's representative began to press the attack. Thinking that Long Chen was made speechless by this line of questioning. Long Chen curled his lips. In this world, there is nothing that I don't dare do. Nor is there any responsibility that I haven't picked up. Don't use your brainless heads to judge me. It will only show your own ignorance and immaturity. As for whether or not resentful death city would attack the martial heaven continent, if you don't know the answer, you can go ask the Lord Venerate. Ask him where the battlefield of the last dark era occurred, and then we can talk some more. The elders were mystified. But while the four family heads' expressions didn't change, there was a subtle change in their gazes. Long Chen saw that they clearly knew something. In other words, even amongst the divine families, only the family heads were qualified to know this secret. The four representatives had no idea. Where are you trying to drag this conversation to? Don't change the subject, snorted the Zhao family's representative. Long Chen disdainfully said, It seems that your relationship with the corrupt path hasn't progressed to this point. Did they not tell you about how I entered Resentful Death City and met Sovereign Zi Yang? What? All the experts shot up, staring in shock at him. Sovereign Zi Yang. Long Chen had seen Sovereign Zi Yang? If anyone else had said that, people would only scoff at them. But Long Chen was someone that Sovereign Mo Li called brother, so they had no choice but to believe him. Feng Fei, Yi Liang Chen, and Jiang Wachen were filled with shock. Yi Liangchen in particular was filled with envy. Just how did Long Chen manage to meet two different sovereigns? They were the strongest and most mysterious existences of the martial heaven continent. They had many secrets. Hence, any expert would long to have the honor of seeing one. If others knew that Long Chen had seen four of the five sovereigns, it was unknown whether or not these people would die from shock. Perhaps Yi Liangchen would even die of anger, right? Even the expressionless Long A Ocean twitched. Long Chen's luck really was heaven defying. Others had no choice but to be jealous. I also refuse to believe that the divine families do not know the origin of Immortal Ascension City, added Long Chen. The various elders looked around, befuddled. They didn't know what that meant. They truly don't know about the secrets of Resentful Death City. It is a forbidden land with a great deal of karma mixed within it. So even the family heads only know a bit. Don't make things hard on them. The long family head finally spoke up. The long family head was an old man with white hair and so many wrinkles that it looked like he couldn't open his eyes. However, his voice was still powerful, ringing out like a drum. It didn't show any signs of old age. Hearing this, 
Long Chen nodded and turned back to the Zhao family's representative. Since you don't know resentful Death City's secrets, don't randomly blame others. Also, I'll ask you not to put on such an expression in front of me. At this distance, I'm afraid that I won't be able to hold back slapping you. That representative's expression changed, and a vein popped on his forehead. However, he was the closest to Long Chen and was truly afraid that Long Chen would suddenly slap him. That divine technique of Long Chen's was something that he doubted he could dodge. Unless he was at full attention, there was no way he could block this attack lacking any killing intent. By the time he reacted, it would already be over. If it was a punch or kick, then fine. But a slap was the most humiliating attack. Being struck would make him feel worse than being killed. The Lord Venerate asked you to discuss things with me, not interrogate me. You are not above me. Also, I'll remind you that if you refuse to work with us, both sides will suffer. I've given you enough face by coming here, showing you the sincerity of the Martial Heaven Continent, and the Lord Venerate has also expressed the proper sincerity. I hope that a few blind people won't ruin this major matter. If you really wish to discuss this, we can discuss it properly. If not, we can part ways and not waste each other's valuable time, said Long Chen coldly. They had said that it was a discussion, but as soon as it started, it became an interrogation. That truly angered Long Chen. The divine families really were inefficient. As a result, the Zhao family's representative fell silent, and the others looked at the Long family's deputy elder. He finally said, Long Chen, the martial heaven continent's current situation is very worrying. There's already the Yun Yang world and Devil Spirit Mountain, but no resentful death city has been added to the equation. In truth. The Divine Families have been guarding the ancient battlefield this entire time. It is also an entrance to another world, but the level of danger there far surpasses the other three. Lately, we've been fighting with so many demonic beasts that it's starting to grow taxing on us. Furthermore, the channel linking the ancient battlefield to the Martial Heaven Continent was originally concealed by a formation that we set up, but somehow it was broken. This channel is also going to open soon. Long Chen nodded. He had gone to the ancient battlefield before. That battlefield had left a deep impression on him. The battle between the experts of that era had left behind countless holes and cracks in the void that continued to exist. There will had yet to fade even after all this time. Furthermore, there was another channel linking the ancient battlefield to the place between the eastern Xuan region and the southern Xuan region. Long Chen had gone there before as a shortcut to the Skywood Divine Palace. He had heard some terrifying roars when he passed through there. These four areas are actually not the most terrifying one. The most dangerous area is the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. You should have heard of the Heaven Devastating Bracelet. Right, said the Long Deputy Elder gravely. Chapter 2608 Negotiation I have heard that the legends say it is hidden beneath the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. But I've never managed to confirm if it is true or not, said Long Chen. Long Chen doubted the existence of the Heaven Devastating Bracelet. What divine item was so big? That was far too exaggerated. Furthermore, anything about the Heaven Devastating Bracelet only existed in legend. There were all kinds of wild rumors about it, and none of that information was reliable. The Heaven Devastating Bracelet truly exists. It is also why the human race can only intimidate but not eradicate the sea demon race. The Heaven Devastating Bracelet lays at the bottom of the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. The secrets contained within are only known to the Sea Demon race. But now that the strongest heir of the Six Horned Sea Serpent race has been killed by you, the Sea Demon race has been fully provoked, said the Yi family's representative. Long Chen interrupted. You actually have the face to bring up that matter? If it weren't for your help, would he have been killed by me? The Yi family's representative barked. That was completely unexpected. The one who started things was Yi Ming. Long Chen impatiently waved his hand. Let's not talk about such meaningless drivel. We can be simple and concise instead of you constantly trying to blame me for crap. The Yi family's representative was truly brazen to try to place blame on Long Chen once more, making it as if he was a criminal. But after being checkmated, their representative furiously sat down. The Long Deputy Elder took over. The sea demon race is extremely mysterious. Furthermore, they have never revealed their full power, 
so we also don't know whether or not they can control the power of the heaven devastating bracelet. This is why we cannot be careless when it comes to them. They are the most worrisome existence for us. The sea demon race used to have some ongoing relationships with our divine families. But ever since Daoist Heavenly Feather killed one of their experts, they've gone silent. This is not a good premonition if they're such a scourge. Why not join forces and eradicate them now? Asked Long Chen. You say it so simply. Do you know how powerful they are? Do you know that they very likely have an existence that can match the Lord Venerate? Snorted the Yi family's representative. Idiot. If you don't try, how will you know whether or not they're faking it? Did you think spouting crap here will allow you to figure out their true power? Is your head devoid of a brain? Retorted Long Chen. You. Stop. The Long Deputy Elder hastily interrupted once more. Let's talk specifics. We still hope to placate the sea demon race before it comes to that. The divine families will discuss this with them. However, Long Chen, you might have to sacrifice a bit. Sacrifice what? Do you want me to apologize to them? That is impossible. Long Chen directly refused. He wished to wipe them out of existence. So how could he apologize to them? Of course you don't need to apologize personally. All you have to do is let out rumors, allowing the sea demon race to get out of their embarrassing situation. As long as you don't expose those rumors, it will be fine, said the Long Deputy Elder. Long Chen thought about it. When it comes to the sea demon race, it is impossible for me to work together with them, because sooner or later, I will wipe them out. These words caused the expressions of these experts to change. That was quite the claim as not even the divine families would dare to make such a declaration. The long deputy elder said, that is something for the future. As the sea demon race is also one of the existences living on the martial heaven continent. If the martial heaven continent is destroyed, they will lose their home as well. They won't just watch as the continent is destroyed. However, we must prevent them from taking advantage. If they launch an attack while we are badly wounded from the war. The consequences will be unimaginable his words were clear. If Long Chen wanted to fight the sea demon race, then no one would bother him. However, the timing was important. At the very least, now was not the time. Long Chen shrugged. If you ask me to take a step back when it comes to them, I'm not doing it. But I've never bothered with the rumors that spread through the world anyway. It's just that if the sea demon race suddenly shows up in front of me, well... My temper isn't very good. I'll do what I have to do. Long Chen made no promises when it came to the sea demon race. If the divine families wanted to pull them in, then fine. But he wouldn't be part of it. If the sea demon race really thought that he was afraid of them, then Long Chen wouldn't mind teaching them a lesson. Once he slapped them to death, the divine families shouldn't blame him. The Long Deputy Elder bitterly smiled. This character of Long Chen's really was tough. He refused to take a single step back. Elder Long, during normal times, when it comes to our personal matters, perhaps I could give you face and make a slight concession. But right now, you are representing the Divine Families, and I am representing the Martial Heaven Alliance. There can be nothing personal about this discussion, said Long Chen. The Long Deputy Elder nodded, not taking offense. Then let us discuss Pill Valley next. They have the inheritance of gods, and while they appear to just be a pill refining and selling place, in truth, they also possess immense power. The pill fairy Yu Kingsuan in particular has become a divine daughter. She has received a god's blessing and her power is unfathomable. Once she activates the light of belief, her power will reach unimaginable levels. If we wish to fight off the enemy experts, Pill Valley's power is indispensable. So... As long as they don't provoke me, I won't provoke them, said Long Chen. For some reason, he felt a sharp pain when he thought of Yu Kingsuan's beautiful and icy face. Yu Kingsuan was originally warm and kind to everyone. Her heart was beautiful during his time at Pill Valley. Once, she had even saved Long Chen by giving him her jade plate to protect him. Back then, she had been willing to take on a calamity so that he could escape. Long Chen had never forgotten this. However, the current Yu Kingsuan was no longer the old Yu Kingsuan. She had become cold and emotionless. Her head was only filled with the edicts of the gods as though she didn't have her own soul. 
She was like a puppet, and Long Chen couldn't save her. He could only watch as she fell into the enemy's hands. She had fought against him multiple times since. He had hated her at those times, but afterward, he was unable to feel hatred. If Long Chen had to hate someone for it, it would be Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight, the two gods using the belief of their believer to turn Yu Kingsuan into an emotionless puppet. He felt powerless when it came to Yu Kingsuan. If the divine families were really able to allow Pill Valley to remain neutral with him, he naturally wouldn't go find trouble for them. That's good. Then as for the corrupt path, Yi Ming has probably been brainwashed by the experts of the other world becoming their puppet. The corrupt path can essentially be wiped out of the martial heaven continent, said the long deputy elder. However, by saying essentially, he had left some room. Whether or not they were targeting the corrupt path would be up to the higher ups. The corrupt path hadn't had any further connection with the divine families during this time, and they even hid the matter of Long Chen entering resentful death city. That already showed their intention. Most likely, the corrupt path was going to aid the experts of Resentful Death City to attack the Martial Heaven continent. If you're done with your issues, let's talk about one of my issues. Why are the Divine Families targeting Yun Tian? After all, he is Sovereign Yun Chang's son. Sovereign Yun Chang was the leader of the Five Sovereigns, an unrivaled hero of the continent. Why would you target his son? Long Chen's gaze swept across Feng Fei and the others. Well, the long deputy elder didn't know how to answer. It's very simple. Each generation only has enough karmic luck to permit one sovereign to be born. And every heavenly genius is fighting for that spot. It is a survival of the fittest. So your question is laughable. Sneered Yi Liangchen. Long Chen nodded. This answer is satisfactory. However, Yan Tian is my brother. If anyone targets him, I will fight them. If someone kills him. I will have an undying enmity with that person. Even if the competition for the position of sovereign is a survival of the fittest as you said, we all have our reasons. The divine families hadn't given a direct reply to why they wanted to kill Yun Tian. Long Chen believed that things definitely weren't as simple as they appeared to be on the surface. Furthermore, Yi Liangchen's words had also infuriated him, since he wanted it to be a survival of the fittest. Fine. Long Chen would cut off his head to show him how it was a survival of the fittest. This brief exchange between Long Chen and Yi Liangchen caused the atmosphere that had just started to lighten to tense up once more. After that, the Long Deputy Elder suddenly stood. We can end this discussion here. As for guarding the various passes, the details of how many people each side will send, we can figure it out later. Having reached this point in the discussion, he didn't want to go any further. Long Chen's temper was not good. Who knew whether he would ruin the entire discussion due to one small thing? The Divine Family's elders then dispersed. From the side, Yi Liangchen glared at Long Chen coldly before leaving with Jiang Wachen and the others. Long Chen also had someone sent to him to accompany him away. Once he was out of the palace, he saw that Elder Long had been waiting for him. How were the negotiations? said Elder Long. All right. Many thanks for your reminder. It allowed me to keep a level head during this discussion, said Long Chen. As he said this, all the elders sending him off had disdainful expressions. This was called keeping a level head? He had slapped the face of an elder and would have killed him if it wasn't for the Lord Venerate's interference. If that was keeping a level head, then what would he do when he lost his head? Tear down the entire palace? Elder Long laughed. This aspect is something that I learned from the Huai insect. They are the truly wise ones. They have the self-restraint to never get angry. Speaking of the Huai insect, Long Chen suddenly thought to himself that they had been very low-key during this time. It seemed that they hadn't made any moves. That was curious. Long Chen, let's go see the family head. Perhaps you can obtain some useful information there. Transmitted Elder Long. Long Chen hesitated for a moment but then nodded. He was nervous. He was getting closer and closer to his origins. Elder Long then led Long Chen through the Long family's territory. Adapa Tower, the sinister heaven executioner watched as Long Chen left. Hatred and killing intent that stems from the depths of his soul. How strange. The heaven executioner narrowed his eyes. 
His fingers tapped the table as he was lost in thought. Chapter 2698 Heavenly Dragon Legion's Trouble Long Chen followed Elder Long to the Long family's territory. When they arrived, the family head was already waiting for them with the various elders in charge. After sending Long Chen here, Elder Long retreated. It seemed that he wasn't qualified to attend such a meeting. Over 300 elders of the Long family had gathered here and they were all heaven-merging experts. However, when they looked at Long Chen, they didn't show any hostility. Instead, they seemed to view him in high regard. The family had laughed boisterously. Today's gathering was quite lively. As expected, heroes come from the youths. The Long family's people all had smiles on their faces. The Long family had been fighting against the Yi family for a long time. Now that the Yi family had joined forces with the Zhao family, it could be said that Long Chen had managed to land a fierce blow for the Long family. Family head is overpraising me. Long Chen cupped his fists, not quite knowing what the Long family had called him here for. They had just finished their discussion with the four divine families. So why would they call him here now? Did the Long family not care about arousing suspicion? Come, let's sit and talk. The Long family head suddenly waved his hand. The various elders retreated leaving behind only just over 10 core elders such as the deputy elder, as well as Long Aotian. After that, a golden praying mat appeared beneath everyone. Long Chen was about to sit when Evil Moon suddenly sent him a message. Hold it. Long Chen was already squatting when he came to a sudden stop. The Long family had stared at him in confusion. Long Chen smiled. As a junior, I have to invite seniors to sit first. The Long family had laughed. By inviting you here, it means that we view you as family. There is no need for such formalities. However, Long Chen still waited for everyone else to sit before he himself sat. When he sat, he clearly sensed the atmosphere grow a bit odd. Long Chen said, Senior, may I ask what instructions you have for this junior? There's not much to say. You are one of the Martial Heaven Continent's young heroes. As for Long Aotian, he is the strongest expert of the Long family's junior generation. There have been some misunderstandings between the two of you before, so I'm hoping to use this chance to smooth things out between the two of you, said the deputy elder. Please give me pointers. Long Aotian extended a hand. Long Chen looked at Long Aotian's hand and shook his head. Between experts, there is no need for such formalities. I have a certain eccentricity that I don't like holding hands with anyone other than beautiful women Long Aotian's expression sank. His gaze became as sharp as a blade. The deputy elder hastily stood and laughed. Youngsters all have such characters. Time will slowly wear such a thing down. Well then, Long Chen, the martial heaven continent still has many things for you to do. I'll send you off. Goodbye. Long Chen stood. He cupped his fists to the family head and left. After he was gone, Long Aotian's killing intent became apparent. I will definitely kill him. Aotian, it's not wise for you to expose your power right now. You have to endure, said the family head. HMPH, do your best not to let me come into contact with him again, or I really won't be able to hold myself back. Long Aotian snorted and left. It seemed that in his eyes, even the family head wasn't someone he had to be particularly respectful toward. Hearing this, the various elders could only look at each other. No one was saying anything. The family head finally broke the silence. Long Chen only has so much potential, and he is too wild to be used by the Long family. In the future, don't bother wasting the effort to drag him over. We also don't want Aotian to be uncomfortable. It's not worth it. Yes, the deputy elder nodded. They had originally wanted to pull Long Chen over to the side of the Long family, but as Long Chen gained more backers, his arrogance also grew. After that, more space was created between him and the Long family. Then adding in that Long Aotian hated him, they could only set aside that thought. Arrange for Long Chen to enter the ancient battlefield. Try to use that method to tie him down, said the family head. Understood. I'll arrange it right now. The deputy elder nodded and left. The various elders also began to take their leave. In the end, only the family head remained. At that moment, space twisted and two figures appeared. Lord Venerate, Heaven Executioner the family head bowed slightly. 
the Divine Family's Lord Venerate and Heaven Executioner had come. After that, the Heaven Executioner picked up the prayer mat that Long Chen had sat on. There's no reaction. It seems that I was overthinking things. He's not that vile spawn. The Heaven Executioner shook his head. However, Long Chen really does look like him. It makes me uneasy. Countless people died in that battle. We still don't even have a tenth of our original Heaven Merging experts. If it weren't for that battle, the Divine Families would have long since taken control over this world. The Martial Heaven Continent would have no choice but to listen to our orders, said the family head hatefully. Saying those things now is meaningless. As long as we've proven that Long Chen isn't his descendant, everything is fine, said the Lord Venerate. It can be confirmed. The prayer mat has the Long family's ancestral rune on it. The spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone can be concealed, but the soul can't be changed. He truly doesn't belong to the Long family, said the Heaven Executioner. The Lord Venerate nodded. Good the Divine Families no longer have their old power, so we'll have to borrow the power of the Martial Heaven Continent. Do your best not to provoke Long Chen to prevent any further side issues from arising. The only concerning ones are Yi Liangchen, Jiang Wachen, Feng Fei, and the others, said the family head. I'll warn them. The Martial Heaven Continent's current situation isn't optimistic. There can be no mistakes. The pressure on the Divine Families is also unprecedented, said the Lord Venerate sighing. Long Chen was sent off, and the one leading the path was once more Elder Long. This time, no one else accompanied them, so it was just the two of them. Elder Long, is the Heaven Executioner very powerful? Asked Long Chen casually. Very powerful. He's an expert on the same level as the Lord Venerate. But, Elder Long suddenly shut his mouth. But what Elder Long hesitated. But after being stabbed through the chest by a sword, a fist-sized hole remained all the way to this day. He has no way to heal it. Due to this wound, his power is suppressed, and his cultivation base is starting to regress. That might be why his character is a bit. An expert on the same level as Lord Venerate was given a wound that has yet to heal? Then who was the one who gave him that wound? An expert from one of the other worlds? Asked Long Chen. No. It was someone from the Long family Long Chen's heart pounded. He wanted to keep asking questions when Elder Long raised his hand. It's not convenient to speak in this region. Long Chen was startled. It seemed that Elder Long knew a great deal despite not being a heaven merging elder. Furthermore, Elder Long seemed to be hinting at something to Long Chen. Did he know something? Long Chen suddenly felt him to be quite mysterious. Can I trust you? Probed Long Chen suddenly. Perhaps. Elder Long nodded. The two of them arrived at a transportation formation. However, at that moment, a bloody warrior came out of it. When Long Chen saw that person, he was startled to find that he looked a bit familiar. Long Chen, you're here. That person instantly recognized Long Chen. He was one of the vice commanders of the 8th Heavenly Dragon Legion. What happened? Asked Elder Long. We don't know what's going on. Our camp was suddenly attacked by many demonic beasts. And they surrounded us. We had sent out a distress signal. But no one from the surroundings came to help us. We suspect that they have also been attacked. Because of it. We had no other choice but to send someone back here to request reinforcements. Elder Long, you have to send someone, said the vice commander urgently. All right, I'll send some people right now. Elder Long took out his jade plate and immediately got to work. Let's go. I'll take a look. Long Chen naturally wouldn't just sit there with the 8th Heavenly Dragon Legion in trouble. For the Divine Family's reinforcements to arrive would definitely take some time. Long Chen and the vice commander then left together. Meanwhile, Elder Long looked at the jade plate in his hand. He couldn't help sighing and shaking his head. After two transportations, Long Chen and the vice commander arrived at the battlefield. This was his second time here, and the smell of blood struck him. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. During this time, more and more demonic beasts have been appearing. Defending against them has also grown more difficult. Long Chen summoned lightning wings, carrying the vice commander as he sped off. Ever since they had returned from the Starfield Divine World, the demonic beasts of the ancient battlefield had grown even more violent. Their numbers also multiplied. 
because of this problem and the fact that the defensive line within the ancient battlefield was too long, the divine families were forced to shrink their defensive zone, but it still wasn't enough to resolve this problem. Recently, a large number of warriors had been called back to the divine families. It was unknown if it was to intimidate Long Chen, but the demonic beasts had noticed and taken advantage of it to launch an attack. Hence, the Eighth Legion was now surrounded. As for the closest forces to them, they had also unleashed distress signals. However, no reinforcements could be seen. It seemed that the other areas had also been attacked. When the two of them arrived at the Eighth Legion's camp, Long Chen saw an endless sea of demonic beasts. It's doomed. The final defensive line has also been breached. I don't know if our brothers can endure the vice commander instantly turned pale when he saw the current state. When he had left for reinforcements, the 8th Legion had still been holding on. By relying on their defensive structures and tools, they had been barely able to keep the demonic beasts back. But now, their defensive line was broken. Activate your defenses, shouted Long Chen. The vice commander was confused but then thunder boomed, and Long Chen's speed instantly shot up. As a result, the vice commander felt like his body was going to be torn apart, and he hastily summoned his defenses. Long Chen quickly spotted a mountain where the eight Legion's warriors were trapped by demonic beasts. Boom. Long Chen smashed into them like a shooting star. Following that, a cold shout rang out. Raging flames devour the heavens. Berserk flames instantly exploded out of him spreading in a wave that devoured this battlefield. Chapter 2610 Demon King The Heavenly Dragon Legion's warriors were clumped up, surrounded by endless demonic beasts. Having lost their defensive structures against this torrent of demonic beasts, they were like a drop of water in the ocean. Although Shen Chen Feng had immediately noticed that something was wrong and sent someone to request reinforcements, None of them had expected the demonic beasts to suddenly unleash such an assault. They had never seen such a thing in all their lives. Their defensive structures were blasted apart like rotting wood, and in just a few breaths time, 10,000 experts died. Based on that rate, they wouldn't be able to last an incense stick's worth of time before they were all wiped out. Even if their reinforcements came, they would be too late. Everyone, activate your defenses. Just as they felt despair, a familiar voice rang out in their minds. It's Long Chen. That voice instantly reinvigorated the Heavenly Dragon Legion's warriors. Without hesitation, they entered their strongest defensive state. Raging flames devour the heavens. A voice rang out like a volcano was erupting, and flames devoured the battlefield, making the demonic beasts scream. They crazily struggled, but they were unable to extinguish those flames. Those were the karmic hell flames, so there was no way these demonic beasts could extinguish them. After that, Evil Moon swept through the air, cutting off a dozen heads in one slash. These 13th rank demonic beasts were unable to block Evil Moon when they were covered by karmic hell flames. With the 13th rank demonic beasts killed, the other demonic beasts fell into chaos. They rolled on the ground, crashing into each other, all vain efforts to extinguish the flames. In the chaos, they no longer cared about the 8th Heavenly Dragon Legion. They began to run around, resulting in them igniting other demonic beasts that hadn't been touched by the flames yet. Long Chen, you came. I thought that we would never meet again. Shen Chen Feng came over, looking at Long Chen gratefully. Last time, in the Starfield Divine World, Feng Fei and Jarishan had become enemies with Long Chen. Although Shen Chen Feng had refused to participate in the battle, as a member of the Divine Families, he knew that after that, the two of them might end up in two different worlds. That was because Shen Chen Feng had directly defied Jarishan's orders back then. To do so was a betrayal of the Divine Families, and that was not permitted. Long Chen had then killed Jarishan in front of everyone from the Martial Heaven continent. That was a public declaration of war against the Divine Families. Because of it, the 8th Heavenly Dragon Legion had been immediately summoned upon returning to the Divine Families and questioned. This betrayal was worthy of the death penalty. However, the Long Family had come out to protect them. As a result, they hadn't received any punishment, but they were rejected from the forces belonging to the Jiang, Yi, and Zhao families. On the battlefield, 
those three families would often scheme against them. As for the Long family, they were busy with their own work and were unable to protect the eighth heavenly dragon Legion. Even if the Long family wanted to protect them, the three other families could prevent that. If they wanted the eighth heavenly dragon Legion to die on the battlefield, it would be as easy as crushing a fly. Shen Cheng Fen even suspected that this current assault was the result of the other three families targeting them, and that was why they hadn't sent any reinforcements. Hence, he had decided to immediately send someone to the Long family for reinforcements. Unexpectedly, the reinforcements turned out to be Long Chen. Upon seeing him, the heavenly dragon warriors that had fought alongside him before were so moved that their eyes reddened. No matter what happens between me and the divine families, we will always be brothers. Long Chen patted Shen Cheng Feng's shoulder. Shen Cheng Feng and the rest of the eighth heavenly dragon Legion were all men worthy of respect. Despite knowing the consequences of defying Jarishan back then, they had still done so. They would rather suffer themselves, take on the title of traitors, and face death than do something that they would regret for the rest of their lives. How could Long Chen not respect such people? Long Chen also suspected that this was another ploy of the divine families, because when the vice commander had appeared at the transportation formation, Elder Long had had another expression other than shock. It was as if he had wanted to say something but hadn't said it in the end. With the nine-star hegemon body arts intuition, he didn't sense any hostility from Elder Long. However, the interior of the divine families was extremely complicated. He would have to slowly resolve things bit by bit. Long Chen, how did you end up coming here? Asked Shen Cheng Feng. For now, the divine families and I have returned to working together. I heard that you were in trouble, so I rushed over. Fortunately, I came in time, said Long Chen. Really Shen Cheng Feng and the others were delighted. This meant that they were no longer enemies and could fight alongside each other again. At this moment, roars rang out in the distance. Long Chen's flames had killed quite a few of the demonic beasts, but due to how wide an area he had spread them, some of the stronger ones still managed to survive with only their fur incinerated. They once more began to attack. This defensive line has already lost its meaning. We should retreat, said Shen Cheng Feng. He was technically commander. But now that Long Chen was here, he couldn't help turning toward Long Chen. Over 10,000 of our brothers have died. Just leaving like this isn't our style. Follow me, said Long Chen. Yes, the eight Legion's warriors shouted in unison. At this moment, their fear vanished in an instant. It was as if with Long Chen here, these demonic beasts were nothing. Long Chen gave them a feeling of blind trust and safety. Huo Linger, come out. A flame-robed Huo Linger appeared in the sky. She was wrapped in flame runes and seemed like a beautiful sprite. After that, she waved a sword in her hand, filling the sky with divine light. Dragon roars then rang out of that divine light, and one dragon after another came charging out at the demonic beasts. Right now, hundreds of giant flame dragons covered the sky, lighting the world on fire. From this, People could see that Huo Linger wasn't just powerful in single combat but also in group combat. In single combat, she was able to tie down the sovereign sprout Yi Liangchen. In a group fight, she was worth an army of 10,000. Under Huo Linger's command, the giant dragons charged through the demonic beasts, devouring them. After that, Huo Linger herself also entered the battlefield. Even the powerful 13th rank demonic beasts were unable to block her sword. With every swing, another powerful demonic beast died. They were hacked apart like melons. Looking at this scene, Shen Cheng Feng and the others were dumbfounded. Although they had seen her fight before, a few coincidences had lined up to allow her to trap Yi Liangchen. However, now she was annihilating this army of demonic beasts all on her own, and it was difficult to believe. Brothers cover the rear and cut down any beasts that slip through the gaps. Gather their corpses. We'll use the same old rules. The Needons and whatnot are yours. I just want their dead bodies. Long Chen charged on, fighting alongside Huo Linger. Only then did Shen Cheng Feng and the others recover from their shock enough to join in as well. After that, they killed any half-dead fish that slipped through the net. As they progressed further and further, the ground became covered in cooked corpses. The smell of cooked meat made their expressions grow odd. 
It actually made them a bit hungry. Big Brother Long Chen. This is easy. Huo Linger chopped a part of 13th rank demonic beast with another swing of her sword. This flame sword of hers was incomparably sharp. This sword was condensed from her core flame, which contained all the powers of the flames he had absorbed. It possessed sharpness, explosiveness, the ability to devour, the ability to incinerate souls, and all kinds of other powers. She could use them all. Huo Linger's face was flushed with excitement. As a flame spirit, she grew excited at devouring and destroying. This was her nature. Right now, the army of demonic beasts was unable to stop her army of flame dragons. So in just a few breaths time, Huo Linger managed to push the demonic beasts back to the 8th Legion's original camp. This defensive stronghold was completely wrecked. Adding on the destruction brought by the flame dragons. All that was left was some broken walls. However, there were some weapons that they managed to pick up in time. There were still some giant crossbows and long-distance divine items that they could use. In a bit, arrows began to fly through the battlefield, annihilating the demonic beasts that had been badly burned. As they progressed, Shen Chen Feng saw other defensive strongholds that had also been abandoned. The warriors there had fled. As expected, they were not the only ones attacked. Suddenly, the sky dimmed and a giant bird appeared in the sky, attacking Long Chen with a claw. It was a golden pang, but it was different from the Xuan beast race of the Martial Heaven continent. Its wings were golden, but its back was black, its tail was blue, and its claws were a bewitching violet. This giant pang actually had four different colors in its body. Such a bird had never appeared on the Martial Heaven continent. When it showed up, a sinister aura covered the battlefield. Long Chen, careful, that's a demon king, shouted Shen Chen Feng. Long Chen slashed his saber at the giant claw. As a result, it was like he had attacked a divine item. A burst of power caused the ground beneath his feet to shatter. Inferior human race, face your death. Following the claw attack, the Peng's wings folded, smashing toward Long Chen like two giant blades. Even the void was compressed by these wings. Chapter 2611 Plucking Feathers Power Comparable to a Sovereign Sprout Long Chen was startled. This four-colored pen was surprisingly powerful. It would have the power to contend even against a Sovereign Sprout. A damn brute also dares to act so arrogant Long Chen snorted. His divine ring lit up behind him, and he activated the six-star battle armor. At this moment, a wing flew through the air along with a spray of blood. One of the four colored pen's wings was cut off, causing it to instantly lose balance. As a result, its other wing slashed onto the ground, causing a wave of earth to explode. Long Chen then waved his hand and picked up the golden wing he had cut off. Were you sending me a golden chicken wing to roast? Hearing this insult, the four colored pen was enraged. Its feathers suddenly lit up, and the wing that Long Chen had cut off instantly grew back out. You dare blaspheme the mighty demonic beast race? Vile human. Do you know the price for this? The four-colored pen roared. It suddenly opened its mouth, and a four-colored light sword shot out, locking down Long Chen. Can you make me pay the price? Do you think you can make me eat enough chicken wings to make me burst? Sneered Long Chen. Black Chi swirled out of Long Chen. He chose to defend against this powerful divine ability directly. Boom. The entire ancient battlefield trembled, and all the warriors of the heavenly dragon Legion let out a muffled groan as they felt like they had been struck in the stomach. They almost coughed up blood and lost consciousness. What kind of power is this? Wasn't that a clash of power against power? It wasn't a spiritual attack. They were a great distance from Long Chen and were even separated by a sea of flames. But the clash of their attacks was able to make them feel like this. If they were closer, would they have been blasted apart? Be careful. Demon kings possess their own berserk bloodline power that can affect our blood chi. Keep circulating your blood chi. Fortunately, we are in a combat state already. Otherwise, that really might have killed us. As commander, Shen Cheng Feng knew a bit more than the others. This was why he was stunned to encounter a demon king. Right now, Shen Cheng Feng wanted to advise Long Chen to leave. A demon king was comparable to a sovereign sprout. If two appeared, then it would be troublesome. Moreover, who knew just how many demon kings the demonic beast race had? If three or more came, 
Perhaps Long Chen would still be able to escape, but the rest of them would definitely die. However, since their lives had been saved by Long Chen, Shen Chen Feng decided not to say anything. They would follow wherever Long Chen went. After all, their lives had been wrested from death by him. Black Qi and Four Colored Light continued to clash until one side of the void was filled with darkness while the other side was filled with Four Colored Light. As these two powers clashed, the void rumbled. You just have this much power? Then I won't waste any more time with you. Long Chen sneered. Evil Moon's runes suddenly lit up. A sharp aura exploded, and the multicolored side of the void was instantly cut apart. After that, a giant saber image fell upon the four-colored pen and cut off its other wing. Amidst the four-colored divine light whipping around chaotically through the void, a path was cut through, and Long Chen charged over to land a kick on the giant pen's head. As a result, feathers flew through the air. Its head was now bare of any feathers. The previously mighty giant pen had been turned into a bald chicken and was sent tumbling into the distance. Looking at this scene, Shen Chen Feng and the others were dumbfounded. This was definitely ridiculous. A demon king wasn't even close to a match for Long Chen. Long Chen then grabbed the other wing that he had cut off and once more charged at the pen. Although it hastily stabilized itself, its head was still muddled from the kick. By the time it recovered, Long Chen was already right in front of it. It was so scared that all its feathers stood on end. Without hesitation, it turned and fled. However, as a result of its panic, it forgot that one of its wings had been cut off. So it instantly lost balance and fell from the air. Think you can run. Long Chen tossed out a ball of lightning in his left hand, striking it directly. Boom. In front of Shen Chen Feng and the other stunned gazes, all the four colored pen's feathers burst off of its body, leaving it a naked chicken. This, their jaws dropped. Just what kind of situation was this? What they didn't know was that although it was able to restore the wing that it had lost in the beginning, that was actually a serious wound to it. As its divine abilities lay within its wings, the cost of regrowing one was immense, and the new wing was much weaker. Moreover, the new feathers also had some flaws when it came to balancing with the other wings. Although Long Chen was unaware of this, he knew that something was definitely wrong with it or its feathers wouldn't fall off so easily. Thereafter, the lightning attack confirmed his guess when it blasted away all its feathers. Feeling horrified, the four-colored pen lit up all the runes on its skin, and the fallen feathers raced back toward its body. Boom. Unfortunately, another bolt of lightning came from Long Chen, blasting the feathers off once more. Huo Linger quickly took action this time, and a flame dragon swept over the land devouring the fallen feathers. However, the feathers seemed to possess their own spirit. They began to fight, trying to break free of the flame dragon. In the end, the flame dragon exploded, but it used its life to bring the feathers away. Those feathers were then devoured by a hundred individual flame dragons. Return my divine feathers, roared the giant Pang. Those feathers were its innate divine items. After losing them, its cultivation base would regress. At this moment, Long Chen slashed his saber, cutting off its newly formed wing. Staring at the feathers that it had lost, the pen knew that it could not take them back. Those flame dragons would eventually be able to destroy its feathers once their energy ran out. Although it wanted to take them back, the vicious fellow in front of him wouldn't allow that. Now, even keeping its life was a problem. Just wait. The furious pen then clenched its death and fled. Without its wings or feathers, it could only run. Unexpectedly, its legs were surprisingly fast. Runes lit up across its body, and the void shuddered, allowing it to pass through rapidly. While it was fast, it definitely wasn't pleasant to look at. It was like a plucked chicken about to be thrown into the pot was now running for its life. It was both shocking and comical. Who has time to wait for you? Leave your life behind. Lightning appeared on Long Chen's feet, and lightning wings spread on his back. He then shot after in chase. Long Chen, don't chase a cornered enemy, shouted Shen Chen Feng. However, they were just too fast and vanished in the blink of an eye. This is the ancient battlefield. Even someone like Senior Feng Fei would have to make plenty of preparations and have an escape route in place before entering its depths. One of the vice commanders paled. 
the depths of the ancient battlefield contained an unknowable number of experts from the demonic beast race. By charging in like this, Long Chen might encounter a group of demonic beasts or something even more terrifying. What do we do? Now the heavenly dragon warriors were at a loss. There was a sea of demonic beasts before them that they didn't dare to charge through. Even if they tried, they would just be sending themselves to their deaths. Reporting it is meaningless. No reinforcements have come after all this time, which means that the other areas are also facing a fierce battle, said Shen Chen Feng. Even if they wanted reinforcements, there was nowhere to get them from. Don't worry, you can just wait for Big Brother Long Chen here. Work hard. Big Brother Long Chen wants me to kill some more demonic beasts. So I'm going to keep advancing. I'll leave the injured fish that get through to you, said Huo Linger. After speaking, Huo Linger got brighter, and her flames were growing more intense. As Huo Linger advanced, countless demonic beasts were enveloped in flames and killed. As the army of flame dragons rapidly advanced, more and more half-dead demonic beasts were flung to the side. The heavenly dragon warriors didn't tarry and quickly took care of them. At the same time, Long Chen quickly shot after the four-colored pang. Fortunately, he had cut off its wings and taken its feathers, or there was no way he would have been able to catch up, even on its legs. Its speed was astounding. Hey, naked fellow, your butt is hanging out. Can you cover it up? It's embarrassing shouted Long Chen. The four-colored pang stumbled from this shout tripping and crashing into a mountain, filling the air with dust. Chapter 2612 Wild Dragon roars at the heavens An inferior human dares to insult me. The four-colored pen's fury soared. It was a demon king, one of the leaders of the demonic beast race. Its feathers were plucked off, and it was running around naked. That was exceedingly humiliating. Furthermore, because it was running with its two legs, it truly exposed his butt that was shaking left and right. Pointing out this weak point drove it crazy. Insult you? Who would be so bored? Stand still. Three chicken wings isn't enough for me. My brother has a big appetite. So I need an entire chicken roast. Sneered Long Chen. Quickly catching up. One bird and one person sped through the ancient battlefield. The void was torn apart as they entered the depths. Are we still being monitored? Long Chen suddenly asked Devil Moon. Yes. However we're quickly going to leave that area, answered Evil Moon. Within the divine families, Long Chen had felt a strange feeling. However, he had assumed that it was related to the formations of the divine families, so he hadn't put too much thought into it. However, when he had been speaking with Elder Long, he had realized that something was off. When they entered a region where that feeling vanished, Elder Long had suddenly said some important words. When he suddenly shut his mouth, that feeling of being observed return. When Long Chen asked Evil Moon, Evil Moon had examined their surroundings closely and concluded that it wasn't a formation, but some kind of powerful divine item keeping an eye on him. It's most likely the divine families who set you up to save the eighth heavenly dragon Legion. They want to make it so that you can't leave without worrying that they'll be killed, reminded Evil Moon. I know. Elder Long is correct. Once any power grows to a certain extent, what lies in their eyes is only what can benefit them. Even people are nothing more than chess pieces to be used. If I hadn't come, then the Eighth Legion probably wouldn't have been destroyed. But I guarantee at least half of them would die. They betrayed the divine families for me in the Starfield Divine World. I can't possibly watch as they're killed, said Long Chen. Evil Moon was silent. Long Chen's weakness was clear. As long as they could grasp this weakness, crushing him was simple. However, Long Chen couldn't change his character, or he wouldn't be Long Chen. We've passed the surveillance area, said Evil Moon suddenly. Long Chen also felt a weight lighten. It seems that the divine families can only keep an eye on a limited area, but to be safe, Evil Moon, you'll have to work hard in a bit. I don't want to expose too many trump cards, said Long Chen. Evil Moon assented. It was no problem. Following the four-colored pang, Long Chen gradually entered the depths of the ancient battlefield. Here in the depths, spatial cracks were all over. There were wide chasms and bottomless holes all over. These were the marks of experts having fought an immense battle. Their terrifying wills still remained even after all this time. You've been surrounded. 
said Evil Moon. Are there any undefeatable existences? Asked Long Chen. No. There are six demon kings from different directions. This bald chicken probably sent out a cry for help, said Evil Moon. Then I'm not worried hearing that they were still on the level of demon kings. Long Chen was at ease. Evil Moon was a dark evil dragon. The dragon was the emperor of all beasts. Evil Moon had sharp senses towards these demonic beasts, even sharper than Long Chen. They're about to finish the encirclement. We can attack, said Evil Moon. No rush. I came here to confirm something, said Long Chen. Let me remind you that there are still more demonic beasts in the distance that are also coming. Even if they can't kill you, if they trap you, they can easily exhaust you to death. Furthermore, they might draw some even more terrifying existences. Then this little life of yours will be lost here. I'm not afraid. Life's greatest joy lies in courting death in as fancy a way as possible. Evil Moon ignored that comment. It knew Long Chen had his own plan. Perhaps he had noticed something, but had simply yet to say something. We can't go any further. There are terrifying experts gathered ahead, shouted Evil Moon suddenly. Then that's the place. Help me keep an eye on what's going on there. Long Chen suddenly vanished. When he reappeared, he was right behind the four-colored pang. Long Chen hadn't been chasing it seriously this entire time. He had just been using the chicken to show him the way. Now that he had arrived, he raised his saber. Blood splashed. The four-colored peng had been in the midst of using one of the demonic beast race's special divine abilities to secretly communicate with the nearby demonic beasts. Just as the encirclement was finished and it was about to mock Long Chen, Long Chen sliced off its head without any warning. Its body was pulled into the primal chaos space in an instant. Long Chen stabbed its head with Evil Moon. Ahh the four-colored pen screamed miserably. Long Chen formed hand seals with his left hand. A dark blue net descended onto its head. Spiritual strength gushed out. Soul Sark. Long Chen activated a soul sarking art to see if he could gain anything useful from its memories. Unfortunately, just as he managed to pull its soul out, it violently exploded. You used too much force. Cursed Evil Moon. A demonic beast was not a human. They didn't cultivate the soul. Long Chen had directly crushed its soul as if he had used a hammer to strike a peach. Now nothing remained. What was he supposed to search through? Whoops. I forgot. Long Chen awkwardly stared. Don't waste the effort. Their souls are too weak. And your control is crap. You won't be able to do a soul sark. Said Evil Moon. Brazen human. You're courting death. Just as Long Chen put away the head. The sky darkened. Over ten giant figures appeared at the same time. At the same time, a tide of endless demonic beasts appeared. It appeared as if the entire world had been filled with demonic beasts. Long Chen was surrounded. Wow, there's bulls, tigers, leopards, pythons, and more. That's all good meat. My brother will definitely be happy. Long Chen looked at those demon kings like food. Wild liked powerful meat. These demon kings were perfect for that. Wouldn't Wild be able to advance even further after they were consumed by him? Die. A golden horned bull roared and stamped on the air with its four legs. It was like a giant mountain hurtling towards Long Chen. Just as it attacked, the space behind Long Chen shuddered. It was as if it had frozen, preventing Long Chen from escaping. This was a strange divine ability similar to the spiritual lock of the human race. Golden light exploded from its horns. Two giant cuts appeared in the void. It was possible to see an endless black space within those cuts. Some beef first. I can finally resume my meat diet. Long Chen laughed and swung Evil Moon. Black Chi burst out of Evil Moon. A sharp light shimmered on top of Evil Moon's blade. The terrifying golden horned bull's head was cleanly sliced in two as easily as if it was tofu. Nice. Long Chen cried out delightedly. A demon king had been killed in one move. Evil Moon was truly worthy of being a king from the dark evil dragon race. Shut up. Evil Moon cursed furiously, and Long Chen shut his mouth. He couldn't anger Evil Moon currently, because Evil Moon was currently in the heaven's wrath state. When Long Chen had been training in the ninth form of split the heavens, in order to be able to keep his mind, he had given his soul to Evil Moon to control. As a result, Evil Moon had also learned how to enter the heaven's wrath state. When it entered this state, it needed Long Chen to maintain his calm. 
In this state, Evil Moon was naturally easy to anger. Just a word from Long Chen made it explode. This was their first time doing such a thing, and yet Long Chen was still not treating it seriously. Evil Moon's fury almost exploded out of control. Long Chen hastily apologized. Evil Moon had given its soul to him. This was also dangerous to Evil Moon. One mistake from Long Chen could cause Evil Moon to lose its mind. Then who knew what the consequences would be? When Long Chen entered the Heaven's Wrath state, Evil Moon was always as serious as possible, but Long Chen's current attitude infuriated it. Evil Moon almost wanted to cut Long Chen. The Golden Horned Bull had only just been killed when a tiger pounced at them. Evil Moon sliced through the air, and its fangs were broken. The tiger let out a muffled grunt and retreated. Evil Moon swung through the air. A head bigger than a mountain flew through the air. Even these demon kings were unable to bear a single strike from Long Chen. Long Chen was excited, but also shocked by how strong Evil Moon was. He felt even more gratitude towards Sovereign Yun Shang for leaving Evil Moon to him. In the Heaven's Wrath state, Evil Moon had activated some kind of divine ability. It was slicing through their terrifying physical bodies like iron through mud. Long Chen had never seen such a sharp divine ability before. Even though he had the utmost confidence in his physical body, Long Chen didn't dare to receive Evil Moon's attack in this state. Wild dragon roars at the heavens. Long Chen suddenly involuntarily roared. Black Chi gushed out of Evil Moon, filling the world. Long Chen himself jumped in shock. Spiritual strength poured out of him. His dragon blood instantly began to boil. A giant saber image swept out in every direction. Anything touched by it was cut in two whether it was a regular demonic beast or a demon king. Not good. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. He bit his finger and used the blood to draw a divine rune in the air. He pressed it onto Evil Moon. Chapter 2613 Sovereign Han Wei Ninth Divine Emissary? Only then did the Black Chi gushing out of Evil Moon come to a stop. Just now Evil Moon had almost lost control. The Heaven's Wrath state was truly dangerous. Why did you stop me so early? Raged Evil Moon. It had yet to fully leave the Heaven's Wrath state. To save some energy. What if we encounter some powerful character said Long Chen. In truth, Long Chen was shaken inside. Just what kind of existence was Evil Moon to still have such terrifying power even after being sealed by Sovereign Yun Shang? Right now, mountains of corpses and seas of blood were all over the place. All those bodies had been sliced apart, and then their souls were extinguished by a tyrannical power. Those corpses still had a sinister aura that was a bit odd. It seemed that Evil Moon had used its core energy just now. Evil Moon, you can use your core energy in your sealed state asked Long Chen. Only then did Evil Moon notice. It seems so. Ha ha ha. So the Heaven's Wrath state can allow me to use a bit of my core energy through the seal. I didn't expect such a thing. But it really is a small amount. I have 3000 runes on my body. But I can't even activate a tenth of them. Just as Evil Moon was pleasantly surprised. It grew vexed once more. Long Chen. I'm going to enter the Heaven's Wrath state again. I want to see if I can activate more power. Just now Evil Moon had lost control, which had formed a resonance with Long Chen. Hence, if both of them wound up infuriated, they would fully lose control. They needed at least one of them to remain calm. In this regard, Long Chen was extremely lacking compared to Evil Moon. Fine. We'll investigate it further once you advance to heaven merging. Perhaps Evil Moon also didn't trust Long Chen. Long Chen's skill at controlling his anger was truly trash. Curious. Why haven't all those experts over there come? Asked Evil Moon suddenly. What Long Chen took out the moon and star refining furnace, using it to gather the corpses. Those demon king corpses were particularly valuable. There are countless powerful auras up ahead. They can't possibly be unaware of what happened here. But they haven't moved. Said Evil Moon. Let's go take a look. Said Long Chen. Long Chen had originally left a certain distance between them in order to be able to safely retreat if any of them came. But they were just standing there. That was curious. Ignoring the weak demonic beasts in the surroundings, Long Chen charged his way over. Evil Moon's senses revealed that more and more demon kings were appearing. But Long Chen no longer cared about them. They weren't strong enough to stop him. Boom. 
one demon king got in his way and was directly slashed. However, because Evil Moon wasn't in the Heaven's Wrath state, it was only injured, not killed. Long Chen would have added a second slash to make up for it, but he didn't have time to waste on it, so he continued on his way. More and more demonic beasts gathered, even blocking his sight. Someone's observing us. It's the Divine Families warned Evil Moon suddenly. Long Chen nodded. The Divine Families had a divine item or some other power that could see through the ancient battlefield. How treacherous. I really don't like them. Long Chen snorted and continued forward. Suddenly, space trembled and zither music entered his ears. Long Chen then slashed his saber, killing the demonic beasts and pressing forward through a rain of blood. Finally, an opening appeared. At this moment, he saw a translucent seal separating the ancient battlefield. Half the battlefield was on the other side, and a red-colored sovereign character lay within the seal. A sacred and noble bloodline pressure came from it, one that could suppress heaven and earth. As expected, it's another sovereign seal. Long Chen's heart pounded. His guess had been correct. I'm going to take a look. Long Chen charged forward. However, just at that moment, the void turned still and the demonic beasts vanished. The roaring disappeared without a trace. Standing in the void. Long Chen could hear zither music ring out behind him. He then turned to see a woman in violet robes looking at him. This woman was sitting in the air with an ancient zither resting on her knees. Her long hair fell around her face, fluttering in the wind. She appeared like a fairy who had descended from the heavens. Although she was a woman of unmatched beauty, there was a trace of iciness within it. Her eyes in particular could make a person involuntarily shiver. The aura of a sovereign exuded out of her giving people an urge to kneel, but that iciness did not match very well with it. You, you're, Long Chen not only recognized this woman, but he also recognized the zither on her knees. That was the seven-string sea suppressing zither, which was one of the supreme divine items, the southern sea zither. Furthermore, this woman was someone he recognized. He had seen her in a painting when he had encountered Zi Yan in the eastern wasteland. Back then, one of the paintings in the corridor of the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion had drawn his attention and given him a deep impression. That painting had been nothing more than some simple lines that were unable to capture this woman's beauty. However, the killing intent within her eyes had been almost perfectly replicated. She looked at Long Chen with some surprise, but there was also some admiration in her eyes. May I ask whether I should call you Sovereign or the Ninth Divine Emissary? Long Chen cupped his fists. Long Chen had asked Zi Yan why she was so sure that he was her life's devil star, and one of her reasons stemmed from this painting. According to Zi Yan, the ninth heavenly music divine emissary possessed an innate heaven-defying divine music, and she specialized in the Tao of Slaughter. Moreover, her life was filled with battle. She killed gods and devils, leaving behind mountains of corpses. Her killing intent was dense enough to cause the heavens to weep blood. The ninth generation divine emissary was the only almighty expert of the Tao of Slaughter. For Long Chen to form a resonance with her proved that his desire to kill was far too great. The woman suddenly smiled. She slowly stood and walked over to him. I didn't expect that the person I was waiting for was the same as me. I'm truly excited. You have such dense killing intent. My name is Han Wei. In my previous life, I was called Azura Han Wei as well as the ninth divine emissary. In my next life, I was also called Han Wei, but I was no longer called Azura. The martial heaven continent bestowed a mission upon me, and people called me sovereign. It truly is surprising. I actually ended up becoming a sovereign. The woman's voice was like music entering the depths of his soul. That was a kind of irresistible power. In front of her, no one could keep any secrets. Junior greets sovereign Han Wei. Long Chen bowed. He hadn't expected that this person before him was the fourth generation sovereign that he had never heard of. She was the most mysterious sovereign. He hadn't expected her to be a woman. The first, second, third, and fifth generation sovereigns might have left behind very little in terms of information. But at the very least, the senior generations knew of their names. Only the fourth generation sovereign was exceedingly mysterious to the point that not even her name was known. If Long Chen wasn't personally seeing this, even he wouldn't believe it. Sovereign Han Wei smiled. Her unmatched beauty grew even more resplendent. 
but that smile was unable to conceal the dense killing intent in her eyes. You can call me big sister. The title Sovereign makes us feel like strangers. Sovereign Han Wei arrived in front of Long Chen. Being just a few feet apart, Long Chen could even smell her fragrance. Sovereign Han Wei was about the same height as him, and she looked into his eyes. At this distance, Long Chen felt his heart pounding wildly. For some reason, he blushed. Ha ha ha. Sovereign Han Wei suddenly laughed. Her laughter was bewitching. Junior brother, you've sparked my interest. You're actually shy? In both lives, you're the first man to be shy in front of me. Long Chen grew even more embarrassed. Sovereign Han Wei's beauty is unmatched. Junior brother is completely won by your charisma. It's very normal. Sovereign Han Wei shook her head. It's not normal at all. You are the first. Fuck. I was even starting to question whether or not I was a woman. Ah. Long Chen's jaw dropped. Turning to stone. Even a sovereign would curse like this? Was this just a fake? Chapter 2614 Master of the World Junior Brother. I really like you. Sovereign Han Wei smiled at Long Chen. Long Chen gulped hard while sweat dripped down his back. Was this really a sovereign? Back then, I got Sovereign Moli's favor and received the burden. After that, I accomplished my mission and ended up waiting until Zi Yang appeared. That little Zi Yang was far too feeble for me to like, but there was no way around it. He was that era's son of the heavens, so I could only pass the burden to him. He, I didn't expect to finally meet you. It really is excellent. Although you haven't killed as many people as me, it's fine. As long as you continue working hard, with your potential and aptitude, and considering that you were born in the right era, you will definitely surpass me in the future. Sovereign Han Wei laughed delightedly. Why aren't you saying anything? Asked Sovereign Han Wei after Long Chen didn't reply. What could he possibly say? Long Chen was speechless. Sovereign Han Wei's style was completely different from the other four sovereigns. So Long Chen was completely caught off guard by the lack of earnestness and peace. Big sister, I'm very happy to see you. Now that I've seen all five sovereigns, I'm too moved to know what to say, said Long Chen. Don't even mention those four. The two of us are different from them. They all wear white. I wear violet. He, you're even more amazing. You wear black. Men should definitely wear black. It makes them appear more mysterious and handsome. Don't you think? They can kill and not stain their clothes. Using kindness to redeem sinners? Love everyone in the world? Guide through inaction? What nonsense. Bad people should be killed. Who has so much time to guide them? While guiding them, they continue to do harm to the good people. What sins have the good people done to deserve that? Who will protect them? To be good to bad people is to be cruel to good people. The good people don't need any guidance. While bad people waste other people's time to teach them. Then who would bother being a good person? When everyone decides it's no longer worth it to be a good person, the world will fall into complete chaos. Then all their principles about redeeming sinners will collapse. At that time, there will no longer be a point to new sovereigns because the entire world will implode on itself. Isn't the point of risking our lives cultivating to get stronger so that when bad people bully us, we can fight back? But once we're stronger, we have to guide them to the right path? TCH. Who has that time? My responsibility is to protect the good people. Bad people? If I see them, I'll kill them. As for those who are neither, if they stand on the good side, I'll protect them. If they stand on the opposing side, I'll kill them. I definitely won't have mercy on them. Han Wei's expression grew serious. Her killing intent caused this entire space to twist. Just standing there, Long Chen involuntarily trembled. Goosebumps rose on his skin, and his soul twinged in pain. However, at the same time, for some reason, his blood began to heat up. Big sister, your words are too correct exclaimed Long Chen. This thinking was identical to his own. Long Chen had finally found a practical soulmate. Although he also admired Yun Shang, Ching Shu, Mo Li, and Zi Yang's love for all lives. He could not do the same. However, Han Wei's words were practically his own. Through all his years on the Martial Heaven continent, this was his first time encountering someone with the same thinking as his own. Furthermore, this person was actually a sovereign. He, we're people from the same path. Regretfully, 
I'm already dead. Otherwise, I would definitely marry you. Han Wei laughed. This sudden turn caused Long Chen to blush. But there was also some pain. Sovereign Han Wei had dominated an era. No. She was someone who had lived two lifetimes. She had dominated two eras but had been lonely through both lives. So she was also a pitiful person. Big sister. Didn't you reincarnate once? Why would you end up actually dying? Why didn't you reincarnate once more? Asked Long Chen. Sovereign Han Wei smiled brightly. She teased. Did you take me seriously? You really want to marry me? Long Chen was embarrassed again. But at this moment, Sovereign Han Wei reached out and straightened his robes, wiping away the blood stains and dust on his clothes. Once you grow up, you'll understand. Sometimes, when responsibility comes before you, you must sacrifice some things. Sometimes those things include your life. That is because this sacrifice can gain you things that are even more important. Life is slow. Being alone is alright, and being lonely is fine. But we have to live the way we won't regret. We will not lower our heads to fate. A trace of warmth appeared on Sovereign Han Wei's face. She was just like a big sister giving instructions to a little brother about to set off on a long journey. He, I'm really happy to see you. Regretfully, I can't help you with anything. But I know that you're powerful. You will definitely be stronger than the five of us. This world is yours. You are the master of this world. And only you can break it. As the five of us were unable to break this death board, we passed this down to you. Now the karma of all five of us has accumulated onto you, and the path to a true expert has been opened for you. Sovereign Han Wei gently held Long Chen's face, her eyes full of anticipation. Big sister, Long Chen was overwhelmed. The five sovereigns had passed things down to him? He was supposed to pick up their duty just like this? Long Chen felt a bit of panic. This generation's master of the southern sea zither can be considered a continuation of my life. You have to treat her properly. Have confidence in her. After saying that, Sovereign Han Wei gently kissed Long Chen's forehead. After that, the surrounding space vanished, and the roaring of the demonic beasts pounded in his ears once more. It was like everything that had happened was just an illusion. The sovereign seal still hung in the air, and the zither music was still there. However, now Long Chen felt a closeness to the Sovereign Seal. He knew that it wasn't an illusion. Through the Sovereign Seal, he saw that the other side was packed with terrifying demonic beasts. And he could even sense terrifying auras. Several of them had boundless auras. And they were existences that Long Chen couldn't beat. Although he had killed quite a few 13th rank demonic beasts. Compared to these fellow 13th rank demonic beasts, the difference was as great as heaven and earth. Long Chen then realized that the 13th rank demonic beasts that could pass through the Sovereign Seal were the weakest of all 13th rank demonic beasts. The more powerful ones were still repulsed by the Sovereign Seal. Big sister, I will not fail to live up to your expectations. Long Chen swore to himself as he looked at the seal condensed of Sovereign Han Wei's blood. He had now come into contact with all five sovereigns. But the only one that had left an unforgettable mark on his soul was Sovereign Han Wei. She was different from the other sovereigns because her thinking was the same as his. It was his first time feeling like he had a soulmate. But this soulmate had died tens of thousands of years ago. Due to this, he was filled with sadness but also a fighting spirit to continue her legacy. Long Chen had originally felt a bit lost before because he was unable to imitate the other four sovereigns. But upon seeing Sovereign Han Wei, he saw a new path before him. He was no longer lost as Sovereign Han Wei had become the light to guide his path. At this moment, countless demonic beasts charged at Long Chen, and amongst them were quite a few demon kings. Meanwhile, the supreme experts of the demon race watched from the other side of the Sovereign Seal. Evil Moon, let's eliminate these demon kings as food for wild, said Long Chen. I'm enough. You just cooperate with me. The divine families are keeping an eye on you. So don't expose your trump cards. Other than that, you've been affected by Sovereign Han Wei's killing intent. You have to control yourself. Warned Evil Moon. There were almost no recordings of Sovereign Han Wei on the Martial Heaven continent. And only some records of her former life existed. As the ninth divine emissary that had walked the Tao of Slaughter. However, 
Even that matter was a secret only known to the elusive music Immortal Palace. Sovereign Han Wei's killing intent was incredibly heavy. It was unknown just how many life forms she had killed to the point that even Long Chen couldn't endure her killing intent. If she had wanted to kill him, just releasing that killing intent was enough to wipe him out. That was how terrifying Sovereign Han Wei was. Suddenly, Evil Moon's runes lit up. When Black Chi filled the air, Long Chen's divine ring shuddered and the six-star battle armor appeared. With a single slash, a demon king was cut in two. Blood and guts rained down. The power of this attack continued to slaughter a mass of demonic beasts behind the demon king. After that, Evil Moon danced through the air, slaughtering the demonic beasts. Even the demon kings were unable to endure a single swing. Just as Long Chen was killing demon kings in front of the Sovereign Seal, a group of people gathered within a secret palace of the Divine Families. Those people were all higher-ups of the Divine Families, and they stared in shock at a giant cauldron. The scene of Long Chen slaughtering the demon kings as easily as slicing melons was playing within the cauldron. When did Long Chen become this powerful? exclaimed one of them. Those were all demon kings, and although they couldn't beat the Sovereign Sprouts, they were still on the same level. Even a Sovereign Sprout would take some effort to kill them. However, Long Chen was easily slaughtering them as they attacked him with numbers. As for the ordinary demonic beasts, he couldn't even be bothered to kill them. It's his weapon. It's too sharp. Not even the protective divine light of the demon kings can block it. Just what is the origin of that saber the heaven executioner frowned? Aotian, Feng Fei, Wachen, Liangchen, go let the disciples over. Cut off the path of retreat for those demonic beasts. We'll use this chance to wipe out the demonic beasts from our side of the battlefield and shock the demonic beast race. Remember, we're just being extras this time. Don't expose your trump cards, said the Lord Venerate. Yes, Long Aotian, Yi Liangchen. Feng Fei, and Jiang Wachen immediately vanished from the palace. Chapter 2615 Not giving a chance divine families have arrived, said Evil Moon suddenly. Even in the heaven's wrath state, you can keep an eye on the surroundings? How did you do this? asked Long Chen. Do you think I'm the same as you? This is my second time experiencing this state. Naturally, I've gained some experience and resistance to the negative side effects snorted Evil Moon. In truth, Evil Moon didn't tell Long Chen that the dark evil dragon race had its own divine ability that was a bit similar to the Heaven's Wrath state. The reason it had lost control the first time was to probe Long Chen's reaction and test its power. With the explosion from the first time experienced, controlling it the second time became easy. It was easy for it to control this anger. However, there were benefits along with drawbacks. Because Evil Moon was able to keep its mind, entering this state would be more difficult every time. On the other hand, since Long Chen couldn't control his anger, he had no limit as to how many times he could enter this state. He could enter it whenever he wanted. On the surface, they came to help us. In reality, they came to benefit from us. That or they're once more trying to give a show of power. Let's go. I can't be bothered to watch their performance. Long Chen snorted. He gathered the corpses and left. The demonic beast race had finally started to frown upon seeing Long Chen slaughter the demon kings. They had ordered those at the demon king level to retreat behind the sovereign seal. Long Chen didn't dare to enter the sovereign seal, which was holding back the strong 13th rank demonic beasts. Thus, their only choice was to slowly exhaust him with the weaker demonic beasts. But Long Chen didn't care about the weaker demonic beasts. So staying here was meaningless. Long Chen had only just left when Feng Fei, Long Aotian, Yi Liangchen, and Jiang Wachen arrived with millions of disciples. They closed ranks along the Sovereign Seal, preventing the demonic beasts from retreating. However, by that time, Long Chen was already gone, and the only thing left on the ground was blood. That bastard. I wanted to compete a bit but he already fled. Yi Liangchen ground his teeth. Even if he couldn't fight with Long Chen this time, he wanted to compete in how fast they could kill demonic beasts. However, Long Chen was gone, not giving him a chance to compete. Infuriating him, four sovereign sprouts had appeared at the same time, so the demon kings that had retreated behind the sovereign seal didn't dare to come back out. 
they just watched as the demonic beasts left behind were slaughtered. Feng Fei, Long Aotian, Yi Liangchen, and Jiang Wachen went out at the same time. With every wave of their hands, the earth was torn apart and blood flowed. Demonic beasts collapsed in huge numbers. Due to this, the demonic beast race was truly stunned. This was their first time seeing such a powerful display from the divine families. Long Chen didn't watch. He returned along his original path, arriving just in time to see Huo Linger and the Eighth Legion slaughtering demonic beasts. Seeing him return safe and sound, Shen Chen Feng and the others finally relaxed. Once he was back, he led them out. That was because at this time, the Divine Family's experts were pouring into the ancient battlefield. Long Chen didn't want to compete with these small fries. Let's split the profits. The corpses are mine, while the Nidan, Crystal Cores, and whatnot are yours, said Long Chen once they arrived at their camp. Long Chen, it's a bit difficult. Shen Chen Feng hesitated. If it was during normal times, he would be direct. But this time, they had gained so much that every person's spatial ring was full. Those spatial rings were normally used to avoid arousing suspicion because what was stored inside could be accounted for. That was why despite having astral spaces, they used these spatial rings. This avoided any suspicion. However, they had killed so many demonic beasts that they had been forced to use their astral spaces to gather the corpses after their spatial rings were full. Because of it, it was unclear just how many corpses every person had. There was also no way to investigate because investigating another person's astral space was something exceedingly insulting. A great taboo for a cultivator. As a result, how much people took out would depend on their own conscience. Shen Chen Feng already felt that this was unfair, but Long Chen had also said that he only wanted the corpses, which were the least valuable part of their gains right now. They had mountains of the crystal cores and needons, which was an astronomical sum. Don't worry, we're brothers. The corpses are enough for me, said Long Chen. Long Chen looked at the vice commanders and they immediately gave orders. The warriors got busy, taking out the corpses and removing the needons and crystal cores quickly. Long Chen smiled slightly. Shen Chen Feng was truly steady. This was to show Long Chen how many crystal cores and needons there were so that he could see how much he was giving away. It went without saying that Huo Linger was extremely capable. There was no way to count how many demonic beasts she had killed. The Eighth Legion's warriors had picked up every corpse, even the ones that were badly burned, to the point that they didn't let off even the random chunks of flesh. Long Chen began to gather them into the primal chaos space. They were quickly absorbed, transforming into life energy that nourished the heavenly kiln trees. They then grew once more. In the end, there was so much that the black soil was unable to devour all of it. A giant mountain of corpses appeared in the primal chaos space. After several hours, this mountain grew into a colossal size. The heavenly kill and demon trees had also crazily grown. It seemed that it would take some time before all these corpses were devoured. After taking the corpses, Shen Chen Fen counted the crystal cores and needons. They had three billion of them. This was a number that they had never witnessed before. The majority of them belonged to 12th rank demonic beasts, while some were 13th rank. They could exchange these for an ocean's worth of points and treasures. We're done splitting the profits. How you divide them up amongst yourselves is up to you. I'm going to leave first. Long Chen didn't give Shen Chen Feng a chance to push those crystal cores and needons on him. He immediately left, vanishing without a trace. Hence, Shen Chen Feng and the others stared at the mountains of crystal cores and needons in shock. One of the vice commanders finally sighed. We owe Long Chen far too much. We'll never be able to pay it all back. The Eighth Legion was originally the weakest existence in the Heavenly Dragon Legion. However, because of Long Chen, their lives had changed. Their collective power had easily entered the top three, but the ranking competition had yet to occur. They even had an urge to fight for first. Now, Long Chen had sent them another astonishing gift. How could they not feel an undying loyalty to him? Suddenly, Shen Chen Feng's expression changed. He gathered the crystal cores and needons. In the next instant, Feng Fei, Long Aotian, Yi Liangchen, and Jiang Wachen arrived with their army. What did you just put away? Why are you being so sneaky? Barked Jiang Wachen. 
Jiang Wachen and the others had already finished killing the demonic beasts throughout the battlefield. Just as they were investigating if there were any remnants, they saw the Eighth Legion. They then rushed over just in time to see Shen Chen Fen put something away. Jiang Wachen was instantly displeased, feeling like Shen Chen Fen was hiding something from them. Reporting to Senior Wachen, we were just tidying up some spoils of battle. You were so fast that I didn't even sense you. I had no intention of hiding anything, responded Shen Chen Feng. Spoils of battle? The few of you were actually able to gain something. Jiang Wachen snorted. It was like he was questioning suspects. Shen Chen Feng's expression sank. Jiang Wachen had not liked the Eighth Legion for a long time, and Yi Liang Chen was the same. That was naturally due to how the Eighth Legion had gone against orders back in the Starfield Divine World. After that, Shen Chen Feng took a deep breath and suppressed his anger. We aren't qualified to gain from this battle. However, Long Chen came to support us. He killed a few demonic beasts and left us the parts that he didn't want. Yi Liang Chen immediately retorted. Those aren't called spoils of battle. That's charity. Since when did the Divine Family start accepting other people's charity? You've lost the face of the Divine Family Shen Chen Feng and the others were enraged. He truly wanted to curse back that if Yi Liang Chen had the ability, he could go find Long Chen to complain. Why did he have to take out his anger on them? However, Shen Chen Feng endured it in the end. After all, he belonged to the Divine Families. Those words are lacking. The Divine Families are currently on the same side as Long Chen. Since we're working together, we share danger and profit. Brother Liang Chen, your words go too far. Commander Shen, since there's nothing left for you to do here, bring your people away. It must have been hard on you as this sudden assault occurred out of nowhere. I will arrange for replacements for the ones that you lost, said Long Aoshan. The Eighth Legion belonged to the Long family. So he naturally needed to speak up. Shen Chen Feng hastily bowed to Long Aoshan and then left with the Eighth Legion. Feng Fei, Long Aoshan, Yi Liang Chen, and Jiang Wachen also left. Long Chen did not make any stop after returning to the Divine Families. He directly returned to the Martial Heaven continent. At this moment, the air was clearly darker than before. The auras of the other worlds were growing stronger and stronger. Long Chen first went to the Wine God Palace. After explaining what they had negotiated, the High Priest only smiled and nodded. Did you not mention the matter of the original Devil Race? Ah, Long Chen was struck speechless, staring in shock at the High Priest. Chapter 2616 Original Devil Race comes out The High Priest smiled. Without the original Devil Race, it will be difficult to guard Devil Spirit Mountain. Only now did Long Chen learn that his relationship with the original Devil Race had long since been known by the High Priest. But the original Devil Race, the original Devil Race is called a Devil Race, is called the enemy of the Martial Heaven Continent, is called a curse upon this world. However, the laws of the Heavenly Deos are now in chaos and can no longer reject them. As long as they open the channel to their world, they will be able to fight at full power on the Martial Heaven Continent said the high priest, but the martial heaven continent will not accept them, said Long Chen, he did not have confidence in this, why do you need to care, who said that just because the martial heaven continent rejects them, they are enemies, the heavenly deos are no longer the original heavenly deos, they no longer represent the will of the martial heaven continent, as the people are ignorant and only hear what they want to hear, how could they possibly know the truth about the original devil race? Without their support, you will face unprecedented pressure from Devil Spirit Mountain, and you won't have the power to block the other regions. Moreover, this is the only chance for the original devil race to prove themselves. As for the divine families, remember, the goal is only to profit from them. As long as you do it at the right time, we will be the one to profit the most in the end, said the high priest. Long Chen was startled. The high priest touched upon something that Sovereign Zi Yang had mentioned to him as well. That was that the current heavenly deos were no longer the will of the martial heaven continent. In other words, every time he underwent heavenly punishment, it was the heavenly deos that wanted to kill him, not the martial heaven continent. The two were not the same. Now that the high priest was also bringing it up, Long Chen understood. 
Could it be that the Martial Heaven continent was no longer under its own control? The Gamma Breaker? A bolt of lightning suddenly crashed through Long Chen's mind, and many things that he hadn't understood instantly became clear. If this board included the Martial Heaven continent, then he could understand what the sovereigns had been trying to say. Seeing his expression, the high priest smiled. Do what you have to do. No one can see the future. As long as you work hard, trust that time will bring you what you need. Many thanks. Senior Long Chen felt as if many riddles had been undone in that instant, and he saw a clear path. The five sovereigns had placed their hopes on him, and he had the Wine God Palace, the Divine Ice Palace, the Elusive Music Immortal Palace and the Martial Heaven Continent's millions and millions of experts supporting him. However, Long Chen didn't reply. Whether or not the original Devil Race would come out into the world would be up to them. After all, they had been hunted down generation after generation by the Martial Heaven Continent's experts. They had been on the verge of destruction. Ordinary people would not be able to accept helping people who had done such things to them. Using their own lives to protect their enemies? If it was Long Chen, he would be incapable of it. That was why he had to go ask the original Devil Race their opinion first. Long Chen. When Long Chen returned to the original Devil Race, the first thing he saw was Yu Ziaokian. She was pacing in front of the transportation formation and was immediately delighted to see him. Yu Ziaokian's beauty was the same as before, but she had become thinner. That appearance was a bit distressing. When Long Chen saw her, he instantly understood her feelings. She was struggling, hesitating as to whether or not she should go find him on the Martial Heaven continent. She wanted to see him, but she didn't want to bring him trouble. Long Chen hadn't realized just how important of a spot he held in Yu Ziaokian's heart. After such a long time apart, Yu Ziaokian had endured a great deal of suffering. Ziaokian, you've gotten thinner. Long Chen rubbed her cheek sadly. She had been working hard this entire time. I'm fine. Even though that was what she said, she couldn't hold back a few tears. Although she was smiling at seeing him, her emotions overwhelmed her. During this time, Long Chen had not sent back any word to her, worrying her immensely. She had wanted to go to the Martial Heaven continent, but her mother, Yu Zihan, prevented her. If her status was exposed, it would implicate Long Chen as well turning him into the public enemy of the world. However, the fact that Long Chen hadn't sent any word at all meant that he was also in a difficult position. Because of this, she was endlessly tormented by her inability to help. Today, she had finally been unable to endure any longer. She had snuck out, wanting to go to the Martial Heaven continent. But once she arrived in front of the transportation formation, she hesitated again. Therefore, when Long Chen suddenly appeared, it felt like she was dreaming. She couldn't hold back and silently cried into his chest. Long Chen's nose soured. Just how had he gained so many beautiful fairies that were willing to do everything for him? But as for him, he wasn't even able to accompany them. Long Chen cursed himself. All he could do was hold Yu Ziaokian tightly, his heart full of shame and guilt. He just wanted to live a peaceful life, but the heavens would not allow it. After crying for a while, it seemed that Yu Ziaokian had managed to vent all the grief in her heart. She slowly pulled out of Long Chen's embrace and saw that Long Chen's chest was soaked in her tears. She then blushed and pressed a hand there. In a second, water vapor steamed out of his clothes as she dried her tears. I didn't expect that you could even steam my clothes. You truly are a perfect wife. Long Chen smiled. Yu Ziaokian's blush deepened and she lightly hit Long Chen. However, her eyes were filled with warmth. I never said that I would marry you. If you don't marry me, who will you marry? Does someone else dare to touch my wife? Long Chen patted his chest, suddenly becoming fierce. His teasing made Yu Ziaokian laugh, and she suddenly recalled something. Long Chen, why have you suddenly come here? I came to propose marriage to your mother, said Long Chen solemnly. Stop messing around. Be serious, rebuked Yu Ziaokian. I am serious. Yes, I would like to propose that the original devil race returns to the Martial Heaven continent, said Long Chen. Hearing that it was something so important, Yu Ziaokian quickly dragged Long Chen over to see Yu Zihan. Long Chen explained the high priest's thoughts. Race leader, 
I'm only here to ask your opinion. The original devil race can accept or decline. No matter what, it will not change our relationship. You should understand what I'm saying. Long Chen was a bit apprehensive. This was definitely something difficult for the original devil race to accept. But since the high priest had mentioned it, Long Chen chose to make the trip. Unexpectedly to Long Chen, Yu Zivan was not angry at all. Child, why are you so nervous? Is there a need to be so cautious when it comes to us? In truth, the Wine God Palace's high priest is a good person. Perhaps he knows some of the original devil race's secrets. Entering the Martial Heaven Continent is a rare opportunity for us because both the skyscraping world and the wild world are minor worlds with incomplete laws. Only on the Martial Heaven Continent can the original Devil Race fully awaken our primordial bloodline. Moreover, killing the Devil Race that comes out will speed up the process. So this is an opportunity for us. There's such a thing. Long Chen was surprised. Yu Zivan nodded. The Martial Heaven Continent suppressed us with its laws preventing us from cultivating there before. But as the auras of the other worlds enter, its laws grow chaotic and can no longer suppress us. If we open the gate to the skyscraping world, the original devil race's chi will also enter the continent. Our power will fully recover. So you're saying that you accept it? Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. Yu Zivan smiled. You are the nine star heir. The original devil race will follow you to death let alone something that benefits us so much. We will support you no matter what Long Chen was extremely moved. This was absolute trust. All right, then I'm confident. I didn't directly say yes to the high priest. Long Chen returned to the martial heaven continent, but this time, he brought you Ziaokian. Long Chen then told the high priest about the original devil race's reply. However, he said that if anyone on the Martial Heaven Continent dared to make things hard on the original Devil Race, even if it was the Divine Families, he would immediately become enemies with them. The High Priest seemed to have long since expected such a reply, so he sent a letter to the Divine Families. The Divine Families quickly replied, saying that if the High Priest dared to vouch that the original Devil Race would not harm the Martial Heaven Continent, then they could work together. The Divine Families clearly stated that they would not oppose the original Devil Race. A piece of news quickly spread throughout the Martial Heaven Continent. The original Devil Race was returning. The original Devil Race was not full of demons and devils like they thought. They were allies who would help the continent defend against the invaders. This new information caused quite a great deal of chaos. The original Devil Race was the Martial Heaven Continent's mortal enemy and this was something well known to all. Now they were helping to defend the continent? Was this not letting a wolf inside? At this moment, the Wine God Palace, Divine Ice Palace, Elusive Music Immortal Palace, Martial Heaven Alliance, and other forces experts all gathered in front of the gate to the skyscraping world. After that, the void exploded, revealing a giant gate in the sky. As the gate slowly opened, the original Devil Race's experts appeared before the Martial Heaven Continent's experts. Chapter 2617 Barbarian Blood Black Dragon The skyscraping world's aura slowly entered the Martial Heaven Continent. It was a peaceful, auspicious aura that cleansed the soul and made people forget about the mundane world's struggles. The beautiful Yu Ziaokian led the way. After that, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er and the rest of the Dragonblood Legion cheered enthusiastically. Yu Ziaokian could finally openly lead the original Devil Race's warriors onto the Martial Heaven Continent. Meng Chi and the others felt great pity for Yu Ziaokian. Even though they had experienced countless dangers, at least they had managed to stay beside Long Chen's side. Only Yu Ziaokian was locked inside the skyscraping world, so they were extremely sympathetic to her. At this moment, the Martial Heaven Continent's experts watched in shock as Long Chen walked over to Yu Ziaokian's side. He then turned to face the Martial Heaven Continent's experts. I hereby announce that the original Devil Race is the Dragonblood Legion's most loyal ally. Anyone who challenges them will be killed without exception. Long Chen's gaze was charged with sharp energy. This was his promise to the original Devil Race. He would not allow anyone to harm them. His voice rang through the air and was filled with undoubtable determination. Hence, people's hearts shook. They rarely saw Long Chen act like this. Based on what? 
the original devil race is our mortal enemy. Just because of a word from you Long Chen raised a finger, and a bolt of lightning blasted apart a shouting elder, that was a sect leader from the ancient family alliance. I'm not accepting backtalk today, said Long Chen coldly. You're too arrogant. Just because you have some support now, do you think you can act like this? Clearly, your ultimate goal was to destroy the Martial Heaven continent from the start with the point of Long Chen's finger. Another Peak Nether Passage expert was killed despite using his full power to defend. As I said, I'm not taking any backtalk today. Those who want to die should all step forward. I don't want to waste my time killing you one by one, said Long Chen. Countless people were stunned. Just what was going on with Long Chen? He wasn't even accepting people asking questions? Today, I am announcing this to you, not asking for your opinion. Those who trust me, follow me. I will only risk my life for people who trust me. As for those who doubt me, I have no need to do the same. I also have no duty to explain myself to you. When it comes to the original devil race, understand this. I'm not giving any explanations. My goal is to protect those closest to me. If others want to benefit from that, I won't decline. But if others want to become an obstacle, I will not hesitate to kill them, said Long Chen coldly. When did this little fellow become like this? Is it a problem with the ninth form of split the heavens? Hu Jin Ying was startled by Long Chen's change. How is that possible? It will only affect his mind when he actually uses it. His actions are entirely correct. It's already such a time. So who has time to explain themselves to everyone? Does an emperor need to explain himself to the commoners? A woman's soft-heartedness will only ruin things, said the old man. What does that mean? Asked Hu Jin Ying coldly. What? What does that mean? I'm just saying that men should the thing that you said just before, reminded Hu Jin Ying. A woman's soft-heartedness. The old man suddenly turned away, not daring to look at Hu Jin Ying. You old thing. I'm just a woman. So why don't you explain what you mean by that? Hu Jin Ying glared at him. The old man had carelessly said something wrong. So he looked at Long Chen and said, Perhaps Long Chen has a good explanation. My mouth just randomly spouted some words. Suddenly, a new group of people arrived. Even before they appeared, a strong fishy smell had surfaced. The sea demon race. Last time, the sea demon race was given a vicious lesson by Daoist Heavenly Feather, and they had been silent ever since then. Later on, there were rumors that Long Chen had gone to the sea demon race and apologized. Under the Divine Family's mediation, this matter was temporarily suppressed, but no one was clear on whether or not these rumors were true. However, the majority of people felt that such a thing was not likely. Long Chen even dared to kill the Sovereign Sprout of the Divine Families. So how could he possibly lower his head to the Sea Demon race? Nevertheless, some people also guessed that he had lowered his head in order to unite the Martial Heaven Continent against its enemies. That was why Long Chen had endured such a humiliation. There were different versions of the rumor. Some said that the Sea Demon race had a terrifying expert that even the High Priest couldn't provoke, forcing Long Chen to lower his head. Some even said that Long Chen actually had the blood of the sea demon race in his veins, or he wouldn't have the dragon blood battle armor. Perhaps his blood had returned to an ancestral state. In any case, there were many rumors that were hard to believe. Some fellows who had nothing better to do always came up and spread such things. They were quite good at acting like they knew more than other people in order to give them a sense of importance. Due to this, some ignorant people had once more started to suspect Long Chen's identity. The dragon blood battle armor truly was not a human technique. If Long Chen was from the sea demon race, wouldn't that be bad for the continent? Hence, everyone was shocked when the sea demon race appeared at such a time. Even Long Chen hadn't expected them to suddenly appear. Their leader was a very tall woman with a wide shoulder. She wore black scaled armor with exposed arms which were very white but also coarse. As for her appearance, she had golden hair, a tall nose, and heavy set pale blue eyes. Her body was quite muscular, with an upside-down triangular form. Behind her were three men, and one of them made Long Chen almost cry out. Wasn't that the expert from the six-horned sea serpent race? He had clearly killed him. However, 
Long Chen quickly realized that while they were very similar, their auras were a bit different. This person's aura was slightly weaker. The other two had auras on a similar level, and they followed close behind the woman like servants. Hence, Long Chen's heart shook. This woman's identity was definitely not ordinary. Everyone's attention was immediately drawn over to her. No one could sense her aura, but just looking at her made people feel an innate reverence. When that woman was just 300 meters from Long Chen, both their bodies trembled. Blood chi soared out of them, and white and black scales instantly covered their bodies. What's going on? Everyone was startled. The heavens changed color, and a dragon row rang out. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This woman actually possessed dragon blood as well, forming a resonance with him. His dragon scales automatically appeared. The barbarian blood black dragon race. Why would they appear on the martial heaven continent? Evil Moon was also surprised. What is going on? Asked Long Chen stealthily. She's part of the black dragon race, which is specialized in power. According to reason, a place like the Martial Heaven Continent couldn't possibly produce a barbarian blood black dragon with such a pure bloodline, said Evil Moon. Just as they were silently communicating, the woman finally spoke. You stole what belongs to me. Her voice made everyone jump. Despite it not being loud, the world rumbled and seemed to echo her words. After that, those with weaker cultivation bases retreated, feeling as if their own blood chi was starting to go out of control. This woman was absolutely terrifying. You mean the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale? Asked Long Chen. Correct. It is mine. I spent tens of thousands of years bitterly cultivating just to obtain it. But when I came out of seclusion, it was stolen by you. Said the woman coldly. Tens of thousands of years? The experts other than a select few like the High Priest were stunned. Just what kind of origin did this woman have? As expected. She most likely was sealed in a fetus-like state in order to absorb the martial heaven continent's aura. Then she would be able to take the Azure Dragon reverse scale, said Evil Moon. Why couldn't she just directly take it? Asked Long Chen. You don't understand. This dragon scale's master was born and grew up on the martial heaven continent. Its dragon vein starts here. The birth of a true dragon is a condensation of an entire world's lifeline. Although the current martial heaven continent is fractured and damaged, the dragon vein is not completely destroyed. To obtain it requires one to be a life form with the martial heaven continent's aura. Otherwise, you would not be able to obtain its recognition. If you tried to forcibly subdue it, the dragon scale would rather break than submit, explained Evil Moon. She used tens of thousands of years to be recognized as a life form of the martial heaven continent? Isn't that too much? asked Long Chen. What do you know? That's a true dragon reverse scale. The true dragon is an existence born by the heavens. Although that essence blood wouldn't help her increase her combat power, it would allow her to break through her limitations as a black dragon and become a true dragon. It doesn't matter whether it's the evil dragon race, the black dragon race, or the spirit dragon race, they are all unable to compare to the true dragon race. There is a qualitative difference between them as the true dragon is the emperor of the thousands of dragon races. Ask yourself, who doesn't wish to be the emperor of the world? Who doesn't want to stand at the peak of this world? Evil Moon snorted disdainfully at Long Chen's ignorant question. Only then did Long Chen understand just how valuable this dragon scale was. Seeing him not reply after a long time, the woman demanded, What? After stealing my thing? You're going to act like a mute. Chapter 2618 Hostility mounts in the face of this forceful woman from the sea demon race. Long Chen's originally indifferent expression grew cold. Your thing? You're a barbarian blood black dragon. While this reverse scale came from a true dragon. How is it yours? Even if you stood over it for tens of thousands of years. Why would that matter? This remnant of the true dragon is a gift from the true dragon to the martial heaven continent. How can a dragon from an outer region be qualified to touch it? Every life form on the martial heaven continent can say that the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale belongs to them. Only you cannot. Long Chen had originally been planning on ignoring her, but she had gone too far. Although he had made an agreement with the Divine Families to ignore the Sea Demon Race, if the Sea Demon Race were to take the initiative to provoke him, he naturally wouldn't care about that agreement. 
Only once Long Chen said this did everyone learn that Long Chen's dragon blood battle armor came from a true dragon's reverse scale. A true dragon scale is something that maintains the karmic luck of a dragon vein. Doesn't that mean that is the heir of a true dragon? Long Chen is the future son of the heavens. The dragon vein had chosen him. As long as he had said this, it would have elevated him to almost the same status as a sovereign. But Long Chen had never mentioned it before. If this woman hadn't appeared, they would still not know the origin of his dragon blood. Long Chen really is Loki. Or perhaps he just feels that it isn't worth it to explain some things. That's true. At his level, he has come into contact with the secrets of the heavenly deos that we cannot imagine. When it comes to the matter of the original devil race, if Long Chen had to explain himself to everyone with questions, it would be a few centuries before he was done explaining. Those who trust him won't doubt him, and he has no need to explain himself to those that don't trust him. As the leader of the Martial Heaven Continent's army, he needs to possess a corresponding charisma and resolution. When preparing for battle, who goes around asking for everyone's opinions and then slowly explaining things to every person with questions? How can someone fight like that? Although I also don't understand the matter with the original devil race, I trust Long Chen. So many people chose to entrust their lives to him. So I trust that they are correct tell the people questioning him to scram. They are only going to cause chaos when the battle starts. All they can do is shout from the back. Aren't they relying entirely on senior apprentice brother Long Chen's mercy to save their lives? As people discussed this sudden information, the doubters were forced to shut their mouths. The blood flowing through Long Chen's veins belonged to a true dragon and the true dragon's reverse scale represented the karmic luck of the martial heaven continent. If the martial heaven continent had chosen him, how could they question him? The sea demon experts' expressions twisted as they heard the discussion. But at this moment, the man from the six-horned sea serpent race stepped forward and bowed to the woman first. Dragon Emperor, this person killed my little brother. Please permit me to fight and take revenge for my brother. The six-horned sea serpent that Long Qian had killed was this person's little brother. No wonder they looked so similar and had similar auras. If you dare to attack, I will kill you with a wave of my hand. If you don't believe it, you can come try it, sneered Long Chen. Just standing there as the wind blew back his black robes and hair, he possessed an unspeakable domineering air. Hearing this provocation, the man from the six-horned sea serpent race stepped forward. His aura erupted revealing that he was an expert almost on the level of a sovereign sprout. But Long Chen was confident that he could kill this man. The dragon blood warrior's blood heated up. This was their boss. He was as domineering as ever. At the same time, the high priest simply watched with a faint smile. He had no intention of stopping anything as if he had only come to watch a show. It was the same for Daoist Heavenly Feather and the Music Master. It was as if they were just guests. After that, a golden trident appeared in the six-horned sea serpent's hand. It was identical to the weapon that Long Chen had destroyed before. The other two experts behind the dragon woman also took out their weapons. They were also golden tridents. Long Chen narrowed his eyes, and his killing intent began to rise. Today was the day that the original devil race was coming back to the martial heaven continent. It just so happened that he needed to show his power and shake people so that they wouldn't be rude to the original devil race. It seemed that he had stunned people enough, but the sea demon race had sent a few moths to annoy him. Since this was the case, he wouldn't mind killing them all, even if it started a war with the sea demon race. If you want to fight, we'll accompany you. Guo Ran finally couldn't endure it any longer and stepped forward. His armor appeared around him and he smacked his sabers together, unleashing an explosive sound. Let's fight. The dragon blood warriors also roared. Their killing intent exploded. A bloody scent filled the air. In that instant, the experts around them jumped in shock at the dragon blood warriors' bloody scent. Every one of them was a warrior that had killed their way out of a mountain of corpses and seas of blood. Ever since following Long Chen, they had lost count of how many life forms they had killed. Hence. The killing intent from just one of them was enough to scare others, let alone when they all unleashed their killing intent at the same time. Their killing intent was enough to make others quiver. Those who could come here were all rather powerful cultivators. If weaker ones had come, 
they would have directly pissed themselves. At this moment, the dragon woman's expression changed. Even she was stunned by the dragon blood legion. Having finally come out of her seal under the Martial Heaven continent, she had managed to merge with the laws of the Martial Heaven continent, which made her qualify to get the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale. However, when she came out, she found that it had been taken. In her fury, she had immediately run over to find Long Chen, thinking that she and her three dragon guards would be an immense force. Actually, she had had four dragon guards, but one had been killed by Long Chen. Hence, whether it was the matter of the dragon guard or the dragon scale, she needed an explanation from Long Chen. However, before even Long Chen himself fought, the power of the dragon blood legion already shook her. Although Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Lu Ruian, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, and the others had yet to unleash their auras, she could sense a frightening feeling from them. In this situation, if a battle started, she didn't know whether or not she would be able to protect her three dragon guards. If they were all killed, she would be left with just herself. So her expression sank. But it was difficult to stop now that things had reached this point. Long Chen, you stole my dragon scale and killed my dragon guard. You must give me an explanation for these things, shouted the dragon woman. First, the dragon scale wasn't yours. Its master gave it to me. Don't ask me for proof because then I'll ask for proof from you, and I don't like wasting time on such senseless games. Second, your dragon guard chose to be enemies with me multiple times, killing quite a few disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. I only regret not killing him sooner. You want an explanation? Then every warrior who sacrificed himself because of that idiot also demands an explanation from you. Third, today is an auspicious day. I don't want to see blood. So don't force me. Go back to wherever you came from. Otherwise, don't blame me for being vicious. Responded Long Chen icily. Today was the day that the original devil race returned to the martial heaven continent. So even the likes of the high priest, Daoist Heavenly Feather, and the music master had come. One reason was to intimidate those who harbored bad intentions. But another reason was a kind of apology. That was because they were some of the few people on the Martial Heaven continent who knew of the secret behind the original Devil Race. The original Devil Race had been hunted down by the continent's experts, and now they needed to help the continent's experts against their enemies. Although this camaraderie was thanks to Long Chen, they also needed to personally come to express their gratitude and regret to the original Devil Race. However, the sea demon race had come along with a dragon woman of an unclear background to this important occasion. Having not expected such a thing, the high priest and the others also didn't interfere. They left it entirely to Long Chen. You wish to start a war with the sea demon race, demanded the dragon woman. Her dragon chi began to circulate, and her aura slowly rose. A dragon roar came from within her. If your sea demon race wants a war, the Martial Heaven Continent will accompany you. Long Chen was also infuriated. The Sea Demon race really refused to give him any face. If you gave an inch, they took a yard. When the Divine Families had told him to ignore the Sea Demon race, he had agreed, allowing them to spread nonsensical rumors to give face to the Sea Demon race and allowing that matter to pass. However, perhaps it was because of the appearance of this Dragon Woman. But the sea demon race instantly became arrogant once more, starting to threaten him. Everyone, all this anger isn't good for you. Why not resolve this matter peacefully suddenly? A golden war chariot appeared in the sky, and four figures appeared. It was the divine family's four sovereign sprouts. The speaker was Long A Ocean. Chapter 2619 Competition between two dragons Feng Fei, Jiang Wachen, Yi Liangchen and Long Aeotian had appeared at the same time. Who are you? Demanded the dragon woman. However, as soon as she said this, a flash of shock appeared in her eyes. Her guards had most likely introduced them to her. Long Chen stole my treasure and killed my dragon guard. I won't make things hard on him. As long as he hands over half the essence blood, this matter can end here. The dragon woman's gaze swept over Long Aeotian and the others, and she pointed at Long Chen. As soon as she made this demand, everyone was stunned. She was crazy. 
To take Long Chen's essence blood at this time would make his realm unstable. There was even danger of his realm regressing. Furthermore, such a thing was exceedingly humiliating. No one would be able to accept such a thing, especially not Long Chen. This woman's head definitely had something wrong with it. Long Chen almost laughed from anger. Had this woman been sealed at the depths of the sea for so long that she had gotten water in her brain? Long Chen was about to retort when Guo Ran suddenly said, Let me answer in place for my boss. If you want essence blood, then there's none. If you want piss and if you really need it, for the martial heaven continent, my boss would be willing to give you some for free. The dragon blood warriors laughed. This response was truly impressive. Since the dragon woman was so impolite, there was no need to give her face. Die. The dragon woman suddenly appeared in front of Guo Ran. As the space behind her collapsed, a fist covered in black dragon scales smashed toward Guo Ran. This fist gave a suffocating feeling to everyone present. As for Guo Ran, he seemed to have expected this response and slashed his dual sabers in front of him. Boom. The void splintered, with runes flying around. The dragon woman was actually sent stumbling back. You only have this little ability, yet you dare be so arrogant sneered Guo Ran. Although that was what he said. He was shocked inside. This casual blow from the dragon woman had almost caused him to cough up blood. Guo Ran was crafty and had secretly borrowed the power of the dragon blood legion just now. He had basically been cheating, but other than the people of the dragon blood legion, no one else noticed. Right now, the dragon woman was startled and infuriated. Although this was nothing more than a casual blow for her, she was a barbarian blood black dragon who specialized in power and now she had been blocked by a human. Have another one of my punches. This time, Dragon Chi swirled around her arm, and she attacked once more, this time with even greater power. Boom. However, a hand covered in white dragon scales caught her fist. Long Chen had appeared in front of Guo Ran. Divine light then exploded from where the white scales touched the black scales, and their Dragon Chi twisted. As a result, astral winds blew back everyone. Even the dragon blood warriors behind Long Chen were forced back into the distance. HMPH, you're nothing more than a human. Even if you absorb the true dragon's essence blood, you're still human. You can't become a true dragon. The true dragon essence blood will only be able to unleash its true power in my hands. So I'll only give you one last chance. Are you giving it to me or not? Said the dragon woman. Her blood chi began to soar like a volcano was erupting being as vast as a sea. As for Long Chen's blood chi, it was like a lake. Although it was smaller, it suppressed her in quality. Hence, her blood chi was being suppressed, and it made her want the true dragon essence blood even more. That was a priceless treasure to her. I'll also give you one last chance. Are you fighting or fucking off? Decide now, said Long Chen coldly. I gave you face, but you didn't want it. Since that's the case, I'll personally take it back. The dragon woman's manifestation suddenly burst into existence behind her. Her manifestation had an endless sea inside it. When it came out, the sea suddenly surged and a giant black dragon appeared, roaring at the heavens. When the dragon roared, the sky trembled. A terrifying dragon pressure caused the experts to feel like they would be crushed. Feeling shocked, they tried to guard against it only to find that the dragon roar was not a true spiritual attack. It was simply a spiritual pressure that was extremely difficult to resist. Suddenly, the sound of a zither caused the pressure to lighten. Although it was still present, these experts could endure it. Many thanks, zither fairy. The one who had saved them was Zi Yan, who was holding one of the five supreme divine items, the southern sea zither. The disciples with weaker cultivation bases hastily thanked her and retreated. For most experts, they were high and aloof, ignoring ordinary cultivators. They would only watch as the latter suffered. It would already be courteous if the experts didn't add a few mocking words about their suffering. However, whether it was Zi Yan or Long Chen, or even the experts beside Long Chen, they would never be so aloof, nor would they use other people's weaknesses to prove their own strength. Right now, the dragon roar grew louder and louder, while Black Chi swirled around the air. Long Chen's divine ring also appeared. When the six stars inside of it were shining brightly, 
an azure dragon could be seen swimming on top of his dragon scales. After that, the blood chi within both of their bodies began to roar. Black cracks began to spread where their scales were in contact with each other. Those cracks began to dance like a spider web in the wind. Space is unable to endure their power. Even the laws of the martial heaven continent cannot repair themselves fast enough. Just what kind of power is this? People's jaws dropped. The black dragon in the woman's manifestation grew larger and larger, while the sea water also grew with it. Her aura was growing limitlessly. With just the power of their physical bodies, they can force aside the laws of heaven and earth. Probably only a few people in all the martial heaven continent's history are capable of doing so. It was probably rare even in the immortal era the high priest nodded his head with a bit of praise. Deoist Heavenly Feather also nodded. The barbarian blood black dragon exists only in legend. It isn't a life form of the martial heaven continent. I once saw a mention of them in a damaged scroll. Their blood is like silk, twisting and gathering until their power can shatter the heavens. She is most likely gathering her bloodline power at the moment but has already caused such a phenomenon the high priest shook his head. For the barbarian blood black dragon to unleash its full power requires it to enter the 13th rank first. She has yet to reach that level. Despite that, she has reached this level. So that's the case. Thank you. Deoist Heavenly Feather smiled. Hearing their discussion amazed the other experts. Their knowledge was truly deep. Because of it, the other experts grew more shocked by the dragon woman's origin. If she wasn't a life form from the martial heaven continent. Then where had she come from? Feng Fei, Long Aotian, Yi Liangchen, and Jiang Wachen stood in the sky, watching indifferently. On the surface, it seemed that they had come to mediate things, but now they were just watching without saying anything. Jiang Wachen, in terms of power, you'd probably be suppressed by this woman. Yi Liangchen smiled with unclear implications. Hearing this, Jiang Wachen's expression sank. Yi Liangchen's words were quite insidious. Jiang Wachen had been suppressed by Long Chen in terms of power in their last battle, and that was a kind of humiliation for him. When Jarishan was still alive, Jiang Wachen was the strongest of the five sovereign sprouts. That was his proudest point, but he had been suppressed by Long Chen. This humiliation had yet to fade, and then he saw this dragon woman with equally terrifying power. Hence, Yi Liangchen intentionally provoked him with this, making him exceptionally angry, but he couldn't say anything in reply. Feng Fei couldn't just watch that go by. Then what about you? Just how badly would you be suppressed in terms of power? Jiang Wachen was Feng Fei's big brother. Although they did not have the same mother, they were still brother and sister. So Feng Fei naturally helped Jiang Wachen out. Yi Liangchen indifferently said, I don't specialize in power. Oh? Then what do you specialize in? Getting trapped by a person's houseboat? Yes, in that aspect, you really are amazing. Others are unable to replicate that ability you. Yi Liangchen was infuriated. He had lost all his face last time when he had been trapped by Huo Linger. Although he hadn't appeared as wretched as Jiang Wachen. In truth, for him to mock Jiang Wachen was the pot calling the kettle black. What you? Yi Liangchen. Other than a treacherous tongue. What other amazing talent do you have? Demanded Feng Fei. The five sovereign sprouts all had their own pride, and it was difficult for them to get along. But when it came to who was the most difficult to get along with, it would have to be Yi Liangchen. His mouth was extremely toxic. Feng Fei hated him the most, even more than Jarishan. If it weren't for the orders from her family, she would not be here with them. Just as Yi Liangchen's fury soared, an explosion drew their attention. Two figures were soaring into the sky, and dragon roars were erupting like crashing waves. Chapter 2620 Dragon Breaking Claw Two figures soared up into the sky and smashed into each other, unleashing a heaven-shaking explosion. As a result, the black clouds covering the sky were blasted away, and then a blinding light made everyone turn away. It was the sunlight that had not been seen on the martial heaven continent in a long time, ever since the dark era had begun. The martial heaven continent had been covered in black clouds, turning the world into endless dusk with no night or day. With one punch from Long Chen and the dragon woman, the layer of black clouds was destroyed, revealing the blazing sun. 
The warmth that they had missed for a long time entered their hearts once more. Long Chen and the dragon woman stared at each other beneath this blazing sun. From the ground, the others could see the two of them with the sun as background, their auras both climbing. Even the sun became illusory in the twisted space around them. I'll give you one last chance. Hand over the essence blood, shouted the dragon woman. Long Chen's gaze gradually grew colder. His killing intent was no longer just from his own anger but also being summoned from his blood. The true dragon essence blood in his veins would not permit that he suffered such a humiliation. As for this foolish woman, she had yet to realize that her actions were causing the will of the true dragon inside of him to slowly rise. Long Chen, control yourself. Revealing your trump cards for this woman is completely worthless. Those four fellows might be allied with you for now, but they aren't really on your side, warned Evil Moon. Long Chen didn't need Evil Moon's reminder to know that the divine families could not be trusted, especially with Long Aotian and the others' current actions. They were just standing there with no intention of helping. However, this woman made it so that he couldn't control his anger. On the other hand, the dragon woman's fury also rose when Long Chen refused to respond to her. She then sent a claw toward Long Chen. Space was instantly torn apart. Her hand had transformed into a claw at some point without him being aware. At the same time, Long Chen hastily blocked, only for a sharp pain to be transmitted from his fist. Fresh blood then dripped down his hand. Long Chen's fist was hard enough to block divine items, but it was unable to block her dragon claw. The dragon woman licked his blood off of her claw, smiling in rapture. However, in Long Chen's eyes, that was exceedingly insulting. His blood began to rumble as if it were about to explode. Since you refused to hand over the essence blood, I'll have to take it myself. The dragon woman once more attacked. Both her claws were now falling, reaching toward him. Long Chen's foot suddenly swung toward her abdomen, looking at his attack. The dragon woman sneered and sent one claw toward Long Chen's face and another toward his chest. Neither of her moves was defensive. You're playing this game with the human race? Do you know how foolish you are? Long Chen sneered. His foot suddenly turned, striking her claw. Bang! Astral winds exploded and sparks flew. Long Chen's scales were broken due to just how sharp her claws were, but they were unable to penetrate any deeper. However, Long Chen didn't care about that injury. At this moment, he grabbed her wrist and pulled her arm. Just like that, the dragon woman's arm cracked. He had exchanged injury for injury. As a result, the dragon woman's expression changed. Her other hand reached toward Long Chen's neck, trying to force him to retreat. Long Chen did retreat, but he didn't let go. In front of countless shocked gazes, Long Chen pulled her arm off from her shoulder unleashing a spray of blood. How vicious. Long Chen tossed the arm to the dragon blood legion. As it fell, it transformed into a giant dragon claw. Wild immediately let out a delighted cry and grabbed it, immediately starting to munch on it. Ahh the dragon woman let out a terrible shriek, part pain and part fury. Her arm quickly grew back. After that, her horns lit up, and a black ripple spread. This dragon woman has gone crazy. She's using her core essence blood, shouted Evil Moon. A bone whip suddenly appeared in her hand, looking like a pitch black dragon's spine. As she wielded it, a horrible aura filled the world, one that made everyone feel like an ancient beast had suddenly emerged. Die. She furiously swung her whip at Long Chen. Thousands of whip images filled the air, leaving him with nowhere to run. Long Chen didn't dare to block it with his bare hands because it gave him a hair raising feeling. Therefore, he summoned Evil Moon in his hand. Explosions rang out as Evil Moon repeatedly met with the dragon bone whip, and intense light filled the sky. Boom. The whip images vanished, revealing Long Chen with blazing killing intent and Evil Moon with black chi swirling around it. At this moment, Evil Moon was in the heaven's wrath state, looking as if a fiend that had been sealed for millions of years had been unleashed. Dark Evil Dragon the dragon woman's expression changed because she recognized this aura. She was familiar with Evil Moon's aura because the black dragon race was close to the evil dragon race. As a matter of fact, she was from the emperor race of the black dragons, just like the dark evil dragon was the emperor of the evil dragons. For this reason, she was especially shocked. 
Long Chen had not only obtained the approval of the true dragon, but he even had a divine weapon created from the dark evil dragon's bone, blood, and soul? Girl, if you're smart, you'll leave immediately. Otherwise, don't blame me for starting a slaughter, said Evil Moon coldly. Evil Moon's name was famous on the Martial Heaven continent, but they only viewed it as a terrifying evil weapon that Long Chen had subdued. It rarely spoke out loud to others. Hence, when its sinister, dark, berserk, and bloodthirsty voice rang out, even the people on Long Chen's side felt like hell had suddenly manifested in the world. Their bodies grew ice cold. As the emperor of the evil dragon race, you are willing to be used by the human race? What happened to your dignity roared the dragon woman.